My makeup gotta be on point. Why my makeup gotta be on point? <laughs> I'm just saying, but it look like I can just. And then get the erasing some shit around here, girl. <laughs> How about y'all make sure y'all beards on point? What's up, everybody? We are live. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. For wherever you tune in. Oops, let me turn it off. Forever, wherever you're tuning into, you guys, welcome to the Anton Daniels channel. We have some new guests. So people in the chat, please be nice. Okay, that's one. Two, please hit the like button. It's free. Send this to your baby mama, your baby daddy, your side chick, whoever you lay up with on the weekends. Okay. And um, if you're not part of the Patreon, definitely sign up. I know Anton had his Patreon meetup in New York. I missed it. Was it. Was it was about, it was more lit than the last time we was in New York. Oh, Rita. It was, way, it was more lit. It was Thank crazy. Thank you. Hey, Rita. Rita did tell me people was asking about me. I was like, oh, wait. Yeah, you know you're a part of the uh, a part of what we do here. Right. I heard the next one will be in D.C., though. Yeah. I'm scared, to, I'm scared to go to that one. So, I think on, I might... Last time it was in D.C., it was... Listen, every single event that I be at, first <laughs> well, of all... Well, it's too big of a space for your no, last no, no, minute. No, no, no. Listen, it was, it's every event. Dallas, New York, it's wall to wall, beautiful people. Uh, I brought out some great white people, right? So oh. shout out to them up. Yeah, I keep white people with me. Shout out to the uh, vanillas. Yeah, it was it was wall to wall, good vibes, energy, drinks flowing. Ooh, I, I don't like how we beautiful. get to do that. How we get to call their names, and if they get to call those names like Moon Crickets and shit, we get offended. Because <laughs> you just call them folks vanillas. Why? Cause they vanilla, they pasty, okay, and we and we uh, like I don't, I don't think we should. I'm so tired of black people and their biases, man. Like, what if white people had a white star network? <laughs> <laughs> I think that they should be able to do what they want to do. Yeah, but wait. let me just let me let me say this before we get started with the show. Um, Nicole, fix your face. If you meet me in per <laughs> if you if you meet me in person. And you walk away, and you don't say that you adore me and that you love me. I, I will bet anything. Can nobody can meet me in person and not say that they don't love me after the afterwards? Nobody. Queen, you a lie, Queen. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> <a bad man. laughs> we met Queen in, in Dallas, and Queen was like, "Oh, Anton." No, I fucking was not. I no, I was not. Lying. Lying. We were lying. You hey. so like your Rolex? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> And that was it. What you mean? That was all you know, yeah, you know how Kiki was was with Usher. That was like Queen. <laughs> 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 uh, but no, nah, it, it is. It's a good. It's a good time. It's a good environment. Uh, it's never no dusties. It's never no negative energy. It's all good vibes and drinks, and everybody had a great time. So it was dope. Yeah. Explain what the Patreon is, because I think some people are new to YouTube. So break that down. What that is. So for the for the sake of conversation, um, the Patreon is 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 a tribe. It's a group of people. Um, it's based around money. So the logic of it is, I give you my life hacks, right? I show you my receipts. I show you my bank accounts. I show you my brokerage accounts. I show you what I make on YouTube. I show you what I make on real estate. Uh, I take you through all of the different processes of how I make so much money in corporate America. I show you all my W-2s and I give you all the game on life hacks that allow for you to be able to make a lot of money, whether it be in corporate America. Um, but more importantly than that, I also put all of my my unedited or my my, my uncensored interviews. And then I have a, a community of people that all come together and we work with each other. So it's people that can get you some government contracts. They in there. There's people that can help you to understand how to how to level up when it comes to joining cybersecurity, software engineering. There's people that got game when it comes to trading, crypto, all of that, right? And so, um, and then in addition to that, I fly city to city as much as I can in order to meet people in real life um, and give them the game. So it's really just a group of people, and we and we it's a lot of us. Like my Patreon is literally, I, I hope to hit ten thousand this year, but it's a it's literally a like a whole. It's a whole vibe. It's a whole group of people that's just doing great shit, and we link up. And we have fun. There's some people that got connected and got married in there. It's a lot of shit. So, 
it's just a vibe. And then, you know, on top of that, we come and we we link up with you in person. So you ain't just looking at me on the internet. Mm-hmm. I go out LA, Dallas, New York, Miami. We did Miami New Year's Eve. Good. Uh, DC, Vegas, every fucking where. So I'm a fly, I fly out, I come and kick it with y'all and don't cost no extra money and none of that shit. <laughs> I'm all have a good time and we vibe out. That's what it yeah. is. And if y'all are wanting to get into YouTube, like, and I know, like, sometimes YouTube market is very hard to get into, but Anton has a Patreon video and he drops like the gems, like the algorithm, what he uses. I show everything. I show, I show my deposits. What he makes and everything. So you can make money on YouTube. Like, so if you're definitely interested, I'm lazy for that. I ain't even trying to do all that. I'm trying to post this and do what I got to do. But it's definitely informative, though, for real. And the Patreon meetups are cool. Like, it's not weirdos, you know, on Clubhouse and all that. Yeah. These are people that it's are dope. really good to make money and stuff like that. But yeah. so it is dope. And it's yeah. cheap as fuck, too. It's cheap as like $15. So, yeah, yeah. But so we do have some new people to the panel. I do want to welcome the new ladies, Nicole. Ashley, you've been here, right? No. no. Oh, it's Ashley's first time. See, we had another Ashley. Quinn's friend name was Ashley. My bad. Ashley, and then we had we had Dre came back with the audio. Somebody got an echo. My Who got that? Might be Ashley. Okay, so it's, it's gone now. But um, oh, that's not gone. That's Nicole there. All right, let me fix that. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think it's Nicole. We can. It's good now. Just put it on. Just put it on echo cancellation. If you go to your settings and then go to audio, you can click echo cancellation. Yeah, go to settings, <clears throat> audio. Yeah, echo cancellation. But um, yeah, definitely join the Patreon. Um, it's in the description of this video and all his videos. And side A, the Million and Morning Show is Anton's other channel. Like that's where it really go down on that channel. Like in the morning, I want to say it's nine fifty my time central. And like he he, you know, when you have like um, Wendy Williams with the reporting, that's Anton Daniels. He be on it. Like with everything that dropped. it all comes back down to the money, though. That's what we talk yeah. about. It always yeah. comes somehow come back down to the money. So yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Okay, so we have I have a little icebreaker for you guys that I saw, of course, on social media. It says to be honest. This is a uh, Waka Flocka. He said to be honest, getting back into this dating is wild. One red flag, and I'm gonna ghost you. My patience is limited for various reasons, and I've been through way too much to settle. Ma, please stop sending me your potential daughter-in-laws. They crazy. Okay. So this man done cheated on his wife. And he he doing that. But we're not gonna talk about that. So I just just a little popcorn. What is something that you guys have encountered that is hard with the dating scene? Or if you're married, what you see is difficult with the dating scene. <clears throat> Deep, they be begging. Y'all be begging, man. Like, like y'all ain't yeah. All y'all be fixing your faces. Y'all be panhandling pussy on the internet. Uh, you got your link. In, <laughs> you got your link in your bio. All that y'all y'all beg too much, man. That's I'm, I'm sorry, cuz. Wait, we are begging, but men are thirsty. Yeah, baby, thirsty is way different than having your hand out asking for something. All right. If I like a picture, they just say, hey, he liked me. If you ask it for money, that means you charity, okay? <laughs> they asking you for money? You did yes. <laughs> My talk, talk to every <laughs> album right. cash out. Are you flashing your money on social media? If I was, it's mine. <laughs> okay, so if that's what you're doing, why no, do you think like, that's what that I met, I met Ireland on Clubhouse. She was in a breakfast for baddest room, like... It's you are a elite, elite, elite begging room. Like this, <laughs> you gotta come in and buy them breakfast to even have a conversation. Why? Don't be lying on me. I was not. <laughs> he said breakfast for baddies room. Yo, that I met 2K on Clubhouse when it first started. Oh, when yeah, it, when everybody was an entrepreneur, a six figure a millionaire, and all the women. Oh my great. god, Clubhouse was <laughs> wild. Geez. You better stop putting your money on social media. That's why they're coming in there with expectations. Man, I look like I look like money anyway, so <laughs> they, they just gonna assume that I have it. Mm. But see, I will say that a lot, like, like people asking, like now women saying, like, "Oh, you gotta get my nails done, my uh, my hair done, like for dinner, like that's crazy." Yeah, but is that all? Is that all it take though? No, 
That, that uh, no, no, no. Look, look, let's put it in perspective, right? Okay. If you telling me, ah, you just got to get my hair done and my nails done, that's small beans. No, for is you, that, right? is, that, is that the is that the price of admission? Probably that's you, Antoine. I that's that's to me, two hundred dollars on a stranger is wild. Like <laughs> that's tricking. But see, there's but too many. I don't, I don't think that's tricking. There's too many men playing. I'm gonna tell you why. Listen, if all I got, if if you tell me, because then that means that we just gonna get right down to it and it's transactional, right? That means that we were moving all of the all of the t small talk. And we're going to get right to it, right? And so that means that it's transactional. And so from my perspective, you playing yourself way short of what you could have got by naming your price to be so low. Women be faking like it ain't transactional. They act like they don't know what the fuck it is. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is true. Yeah. Why, why, why? Get this money and give me some pussy and call it a day, nigga. Don't act it's like quite... we just dating and shit. Why? The, well, the, more, the more you look like money, the less they ask for. Like, no, that's they, right. that's they, right. they, like they charge, they want the broke nigga to pay their cell phone bill, but they want the rich nigga to do everything for free, so they can seem like they not uh, 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 a liability. Yeah, but why would you uh, give a broken, insecure, low self esteem, low self worth woman uh, a free? Pussy, uh, you ain't got to finish it. Pussy. No, not, not, not free pussy. I'm saying, why would you buy something? But that, that's tricking. What fool is going to give that to a woman who should be independent enough to buy her own stuff? So if she's asking Wait. for that, <laughs> she's asking for that, man, you're going to give her some dick and bubble. Wow. Well, Wait, well, because, because, like because, let me tell you why. Let me tell you what? why. Let me, let me tell you why it makes it easier for most guys, right? It's because let's just say, for example, you come and you hang out with me. Now, everybody know that anybody that rock with me, they don't pay for nothing. Nobody pays for anything. We all just gonna have a good time. Um, you know, that's just the way it go. Like, it don't matter what restaurant we go to. It don't matter what event we go to. Don't matter if we go to the game. We all sitting on the floor. We all gonna be courtside. We all gonna be front row, right? But when you lead with the idea that you transactional, it removes the lifestyle and it removes the good time and it shows that what the attention the, the intention is from the beginning and so i would have spent more having a good time not really focusing on the fact that i'm spending money on you because that's just the lifestyle that i live whereas you played yourself by saying that okay well this is this is the cost of what it is okay well then for most guys they like okay well then i'm gonna pay you to leave i'm not paying you to come and hang hang out with me so if that's the if that's the the barrier to entry, and when a guy understands how much his time is worth, that's cheap pussy, right? Yeah. And so a lot of guys will say, "Well, that's tricking," but then when you get to a certain level, the fact that I even invited you to spend time with me means that I'm trading in my time to even be able to make myself available, and that costs way more than if I'd have broke you off a couple of dollars and then gave you some dick on the way out the door, but right? So the point is, is that what women, what women, what when you come around me. I'm going to teach you as a woman how to really extract the most out of your transactional situations <laughs> instead of leading with what it is that you think you're worth. The value of something is what somebody is willing to spend their time and money to pay for it. And so a woman that really is up under a man that understand nature, that understand how to really put you in a position of power, they're going to enable you. They're not going to prevent you. And then they're going to put you in a real position to make some bags. Whereas you cutting yourself short, if you think that you're going to lead with that, with a real one, and then oh. think that you get the most out of it. Why pay when you can get it for free? You can get on your program and, and nothing have for free. Well, nothing you, is for free. No, you know what, what's free is that she's lucky enough to be with a man. That's what's free, and she's got to work and earn. So she get on a program. She can do all that stuff. See, women, if you leave with your wallet, you trick it. So women gonna just run game on you because you leave with your wallet. I'm saying leave with your mind. Leave with as a man and tell and show these women that they've got to earn. Your time, attention, and respect. Don't leave with your wallet. That that's what man. That's, no, listen, no, I, no, when, when you leave, not, listen, listen. You're you missing it. It's not leading with your wallet oh, because this is my life, <sighs> right? Listen, I'm not. I'm not about to go to Applebee's because you around me. <laughs> Who said? Why I'm, you I'm going to the restaurant that I'm going to. You just privy enough to be riding along with me. Just to, just the same way that my my dogs is riding with me. The same way that my daughter would ride with me and the same way that my homies would ride with me. 
So you just the beneficiary of being in my presence. My point is, is that I know exactly how much my time is worth. I know my time is, it's a specific equation. It's how much I make per year. And I make an egregious amount of fucking money per year divided by 8,760. That's how many hours is in a year. So every hour that I'm spending with you, instead of spending it doing something that can add, add more value into my life, whether it's chilling with my daughter or whether it's making more money, that's how much it's costing me for you to even be in my presence. That's why so I agree with that. My you, point, you, is, you, that, my you, point you, is that when you get to a certain level, it all costs. If I even entertain you, it's costing me. Waste and of so time. I, because I, I understand I the game, man, bro. You can't get married about that. Tricking action. conversation. The tricking conversation is for dudes that intentionally spend money on women in order to get their attention. That's of course. A. Or B, dudes that don't really have resources and don't understand the value of their time, and they're trying to get the attention of women through their resources. It doesn't apply to people that got a certain lifestyle and you just along for the ride. Okay, but you're taking them out to take them out, Anton. I'm talking about the average guy who doesn't have your who doesn't have your paper. The average guy should not be spending buying women two hundred dollar weaves and all that other stuff. He should he should position himself to show these women to get in the kitchen and cook something. Or show something, but you're you're living a different lifestyle. We're talking about the ordinary guy who doesn't have what you have. So the ordinary guy should not trick his money for ass. If he wants some sex from a woman, just ask for what you want, but don't buy her anything because then she's gonna see you as a sucker. Wait, didn't y'all say like a couple of shows ago there's not really a lot of real men out there? Who said that? There's not really a lot of real men out there. That's true. So it's <laughs> like a lot of these guys nowadays, they're either faking it, put it on a facade, or they yeah. are trying to lead with money. Like, that's just what it is. Tricky. And some of these guys are faking it. Like, they pretend like they have money and they really live in with they, in their mama's basement. So, See, it's a, just... man, a man that lead with his wallet lacks character to me. Okay. Uh, I, I lead with my character first. And then, you know, based on your movements, that's, that's how I know I'm going to spend some money. Like, I'm not Antoine, baby. You just not for the go to uh, exactly. me, facts. Uh, uh, Papa Do's because I'm going. Nah, it, it just don't work like that. No, it work that way. <laughs> it just don't work like that. So, um, no, nah, we we definitely can't do that. We gotta leave with that character first. Yes. Cause like, why, why would I be buying you a two hundred dollar weave and every time I come around, you making trap in trap instrumentals? You yeah. hanging yeah. your head. Yeah. I'm like, you what? Know, what are you doing? <laughs> Like, come on, y'all rocking the big ass bonnets. That means you got to pay for the maintenance on it. Bonnets. Bonnets. Wow. We ain't doing none of that, bro. Find a sucker to pay for the maintenance. Find a sucker to pay for your hair. And find a sucker to go out to eat. And then you get his food, bring it home to me, cook it, and you get some dick, and you're good to go. But some of these suckers are offering to do that without women asking. Well, them, 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 you see a sucker, you lick them. So I ain't had a child. <laughs> okay. Anybody else want to answer? I want to hear from the ladies. I, I just had a question. I'm sorry. I, have a question. So it, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, all men kind of are cooked, right? Like, whether you date or whether you marry. Like, no matter Drea, what. You know, so the audio, Drea. 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 Yo, sir. Stop Drea. playing. It sounded like you were bikini bottom, baby. <laughs> so it was working this whole time. Now it's not working. Is it working now? Is we can hear you. You good. Go ahead. Go ahead, cook. Go it's ahead, that go. chain that's running interference, probably. Yeah. So I was asking, like, isn't it tricking regardless? So even whether a man is single or married or whatever, like it's still kind of transactional regardless. Like no. the man providing no. something provide like it's still regardless of how you look and at it every like, single every regardless. single interaction between human beings is transactional every single so one the, the tricking the tricking part in my opinion comes from dudes that lead with their money in order to try to get something so i'll give you an example mm -hmm. men want to take care of women right i'm gonna take care of anybody that's around me but we don't want to be used it's a difference mm -hmm. right we don't it doesn't mean that it's not transactional that we all not you know getting something out of having an interaction. That's what networking is. Networking is, let me utilize you and your resources. You take advantage of what it is that I have going on. Let's let's help each other. Let's benefit as a result of it. Even coming together as marriage, that's a business, right? Two are better than one when you're able to leverage each other in order to make more resources. Right. However, it becomes tricking when you get used. It becomes tricking in order to get something from it, leading with your money because you wouldn't otherwise be having access to it. You see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but they leave and try to get pussy. That's the tricking. Anything you doing for pussy is tricking. 
So but, instead of instead of giving her money, and she should be from the church of Beyonce and have her own money anyway. Mm-hmm. So so what she should do is show that she has character and, and show that she is more than that makeup weave and all that stuff she cake on her face that can be easily washed off and prove to us that she's worth our time. I ain't gonna say that it's tricking, bro, because at the end of the day. She doing something for to get to a certain goal, and we doing something to get to a certain goal. Facts. I'm, I'm doing it for the pussy. She doing it for some cash. But but the, but the minute that it, it becomes wopsided, well, I'm doing too much and I'm getting little coochie. That's when it becomes tricking, bro. <laughs> it's a little you coochie. Know, like, <laughs> you gotta balance out. Pint size coochie, nigga. Yeah, I need <laughs> medium to large pussy, like. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sorry. So y'all, when you when you marry like me, like we call like it's like coochie to go. Okay, that's like some fast food coochie. You just see a hooker on the side of the street. Here go your forty, and then like your pussy at home. That's like your soul food. Like you gotta let that marinate in the crock pot. You, you, gotta, you gotta got it for free. You telling me you, you never got pussy for free? Me? Yeah. Now I, pussy it, it's funny. Pussy kind of like cocaine. Oh. It's like it's cheap, but you pay for it with your life. So you might think it's free, oh, but you might have an STD. Oh. You, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, 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 oh no, he no, listen, he's 100 percent correct though. He's like, it's correct. never free. Like if it's free, you paying for it with your life, nigga. Like <laughs> you know, it's a drill oh shit, health department. You, you know, know what I'm saying? You don't think these women got a, a side dick somewhere for free that they fucking on the side that you don't know about? They paying for no. their life, man. Oh, he he, he no. got out of his life. Oh, women are oh. <laughs> Mother Mary women this are... 100% correct, though. One, day, one way or another, you paying for it. One way or another, you paying for it. Time? You paying with time? It doesn't always got to be money. Oh, yeah. Time is... I'm, I'm tricking. Not your time is time is her proving value, but you don't need to give her money for her to open her legs. Time my, is my time is worth more than the amount of any amount of money that you can have. As a matter of fact, listen, the way I see life, well, I'ma hold off. I'ma hold off. I want to hear from everybody else. I'ma hold off. Go ahead, Nicole. You gotta sometimes cut these people off. It's not like <laughs> in the clubhouse where it's like they gonna let you go. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. No, I just don't understand, like as far as like what type of man leave with his money anyway? Because to me, like, if that's all, whatever you leave with, that's that's your best asset, right? That's what you got. So right. if you lead him with that, that's all you have. So men who have, who are more of substance, who have more, they're not going to leave with their money. I mean, you have some people, no, no shade to Anton, that they have all this money. It don't matter how much they spend. You know, they throw away money probably. Listen, I, I'm bigging you up, Anton. There's no shade. But, you know. So- no, I don't tell you. I don't tell you of it as a. Uh- yeah. Listen, you can criticize me and everything. I ain't tripping off that. Yeah, he liked it okay. It's no criticism. It's just the fact that, you know, you have different types of men. Like, you have the type of men who leave with their money because that's all that they have. But then you have some men, they may be multimillionaires and dropping, you know, $500 or, or a grand on a date night means nothing to them because they piss that away. You know what I mean? But when you have, everybody's not on that type of level. So the average guy is not going to drop that unless that's all he has. You know what I'm saying? To offer that woman, especially it depends on the caliber of woman. You know, you have to qualify that type of woman that you want. And on most men who are dropping that and leading with that type of with that type of behavior is because they know they do not qualify for the woman that they're going after at the end of the day. Yeah. Or bad in bed, or bad in bed. Okay. Guys who can fuck and right. spend money. Damn, you talking about I, 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 it, it's it's a difference, right? It's like, are you gonna buy that 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 dope ass car because you like that dope ass car and it just so happened to come with the attention, or are you buying it to go out and get the attention? It's different. Yeah, I'm That's buying cool. it because I love it. It just so happened to be drawing attention. Yeah. However, the other side of it is people buy it because they can't get in. They can't get into the into the room without it. It's a yeah. difference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just a difference. Let, let's hear from some of the married women. <laughs> you did. Are I'm, you married, Nicole? Dre is married. I'm married. Mm. Okay. Nicole, you're muted. Nicole, you're oh, muted. You muted. You muted, Nicole. Nicole. And she's taking. Nicole, who the cool taking? I am taken. I I am taken. I am in a relationship. Taking for but granted. You, I ain't, was you ain't married. You taking for granted, baby. 
just got into a relationship. I've only been dating for three months. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so I shouldn't be married already. Hello. He definitely cheated. You ain't passed no. Uh, Antoine's way, and Ant. No, he's not cheating. Antoine, he passed the probation period. Antoine, what did you say two years ago on the other network? Within how many it, months? It, it, well, I, I could, I could listen. I could marry a chick within six months. In my opinion. <laughs> from, the from, the time, from the time that I meet her to the time that I could marry a chick within six months. Oh, Jesus. she still got to get paid that ninety day probation <laughs> period, though. Like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not cutting off all my holes in ninety days. Like, they was here for me. <laughs> he said six months. And so, you know, women have they, games, right? They can they can last sixty to ninety days, and, and if you think that they all that, and they can run game on you. Cool Wait, that. so are y'all are y'all wow. men saying that y'all are not real man enough to realize that this is a chick that you want in your life? Listen, Man, bro. If you if you can't spot if you can't spot within that same night, within that same week, within three days, if you can't tell whether or not she for the streets or not, I have to. If it take longer than six months to determine whether or not the chick is for the streets for you, I have to question your integrity. I got to question whether or not you really can spot. See, I don't have to ask a chick how many bodies she got to be able to use the context clues to determine it. I it's not about, agree. It's not about body. Hey, I gotta give I'm gonna give women credit. A lot of women have more game in their pinky than most of these suckers out here. So these women know a sucker when they first come and they know how to move on the sucker. So mm -hmm. they know how to position themselves and play a damsel in distress. They know how to do that. They know how to do the crocodile tears. They know how to have a roster of suckers whenever they want, how they want it. Every woman on this panel, not saying they do, but if they choose to. They can have a bunch of suckers to put up their Christmas lights, Halloween lights, <laughs> pay their bills, pay their bills, buy them things and dinners, and not give up any pussy. Why? Because they you, have. No, nah, you're wrong. You well, no, no, no. You're right. I will say you're right. You're right in that they can have that happen. But, but I think that you're wrong. And and see, we don't give humans each other enough credit. <laughs> Most people know where they stand in the hierarchy. Most people know whether or not they that dude. They know whether or not you that chick. You know, most women already know whether or not they want to sleep with a dude the minute that they met him, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know. And so a lot of times we try to fool ourselves and acting like we didn't know what, what the fuck was going on. The reality is that we just learned to accept it and we lived with it until the reality hit us so hard in the face to where you have to face that shit. And you had to start making adjustments based off of the fact that the reality was right in front of you. But most people know. Listen, you know if your chick is for the streets, bro. No, it's you not don't. A Antoine, that's that's impossible. Half of these women are not a secret, know. bro. How is it no, possible? These women don't even know who they are in the relationship. Exactly. They have no idea like, who they no, are. No, no, for different dudes, they do different things. Yeah, exactly. Agree. But not that, that ain't got nothing to do with me. Like, if the girl take off her makeup, she'll get locked off her iPhones. Antoine, what? she don't know who she is. What? She don't know who she is, Antoine. You, <laughs> you say that one, you call it Antoine. Ain't no W in Antoine. <laughs> look, 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 my name. I, I know, I'm, I'm from Mississippi. We fuck up words all the time. But what we ain't gonna do, we ain't gonna let, like, these women are Decepticons, man. Like, you cannot tell who they are in the first six months. Exactly. Oh, wait a minute. You telling me, if, let's let's use these famous people, right? Let's use people, people that's visible. Yeah. You telling me that Russell Wilson didn't know who Sierra was when he got with her? Mm. She knew who he was. And he, he knew who she was. No. He didn't yes, know he was. He did. I don't know. Yes, he did. He did. When Sierra knew Russell was a sucker, she moved different. Look at her and all the other the pipe hitters. He didn't move that way. Wait, that's not what he said. That's not what he just said. He said. You're missing it, bro. He went after her. Yeah. He said it. She wasn't even thinking that she was qualified. He said that he spotted her and he went after her. No, she knew exactly who she was before he even met her. No, he was peeping her. He was peeping her. He went after her. Yes, yeah. he went after her. Sierra knew what she had. She knew she had a duck. A sucker. A duck. She knows she my, ain't my point, my point is that people know who they with, bro. They don't. Just because they, just because they accept it or they settle or they make the modifications. Look. The chick that was in high school, the chick that was in high school that y'all thought that was all of that, right? And she got with the dope boy and she had kids by him and all of that other type of stuff. And then the good guy that was always, always spotting her, 
he knew that she she was, you know what I'm saying? She was hard to get back in. And then she come back around and she giving him giving him some play and she like, what's going on? Let's go out, let's hang out. You don't think that he know that that yeah. he getting the leftovers or he he in that space to where she now has passed <laughs> that threshold <laughs> and now she's accessible to him for a reason. You don't think he know that? Anton, do you okay? If men knew what the fuck they were dealing with, there wouldn't be divorces and there wouldn't be these child support cases and there wouldn't be no man is fears and no red if men knew what the fuck was going on. Because men don't know what the fuck is going on, they act like a bunch of pussies and these women run these motherfuckers. They want to get around other men and cry like a bunch of bitches. So the, so these these guys are suckers, man. Uh, they are, but a lot of men are dealing with multiple women at the same time. So they just don't know how to vent like that. So that's because y'all ain't enough. Like one of y'all just not enough. Like <laughs> y'all think that y'all ESPN, y'all more like C SPAN. Like some of y'all boy. <laughs> so we, need, we need just more than one. Like y'all ain't got enough, bro. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest, bro. Like I see y'all on the panel. I see all the ladies. Y'all say y'all married. Y'all in some relationships and all of this dumb shit, right? Mm. I'm je I'm jealous. I'm very much jealous. I am jealous and I'm possessive. Because I feel like they should be up under me. I don't feel like they should be in their situations. Well, you have no what? Oh. They can't be under me. I do. I do. And, and, and I ain't even talking about on no sexual type shit. It's like no. I don't have I don't have full access and capacity to really be able to deal with y'all the way I want to deal with y'all, and so it bothers me because it's like I feel <laughs> like y'all should be up under me, and that y'all not really getting the full game. You know what I'm saying? But neither here nor there. Yeah, neither here. Like, what? Anton, the thing is about Anton because y'all don't know Anton. He liked to take on women and help coach them, <laughs> but at times he be picking the wrong hoes. I mean, women. <laughs> um, to coach, and then months down the line, I'll be like, it's not, even, it's not even that cute. It's, and for, 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 God be it's like, not that cute. It's like this what? I don't think that most women understand what they true, true value, true value is. I, really know. I don't think that they know how to really, really leverage their femininity and really leverage who they are in order to get the most out of this world, right? And so, I, I believe that you know, when you get up under me. I can show you things that you didn't know as about, dirty life, about yourself and about how to make it more strategically, That's and dirty. then be able to get the most out of life. And again, it don't have nothing to do with sexual; it just got everything to do with your nature. And <laughs> most people don't have, and most people never had a father. They don't have a way in which they can really understand how how to get the most out of life. Most wives don't even <laughs> truly understand how to be a wife. Yeah. And, That's uh, the honest to God truth. A lot of people get married. I agree. A lot of people get married, and a lot of people don't understand the role of how it is they can leverage who they are within that relationship to extract the most out of it. And, and so uh, when I say that I feel like a lot of women do themselves a disservice when I see certain yeah. stuff sometimes, it bothers me because I feel like I can really show you how to get the most out of yourself and how to your situation. That you may not even be familiar with. So that's that's the that's the whole logic. Your husband, you know, that's why dad gave us a way to our husband. Dad teach you, then your husband, you know, take over. Anton, that's dirty Mac and dog. Anton, stop that. I'm not trying to ain't that ladies know. The moment they come home in elementary school and ask their mom, why that little boy buy me a balloon or give me a teddy bear or a fucking flower, they get laced up and say, girl, you can get whatever you want because you got some between your legs that a bunch of suckers want. And every woman, if you don't want to admit this, you all you women know, if you want something right now, there is a sucker that you have right now. You can ask for it and it will give it to you for free, Anton. So what do they need you for, Anton, if they can get no, it on their own? Now, now when because, I tell you, because my, let me my tell you why. Okay. Y'all looking at it, you're looking at it short-sighted, right? Oh my God. The, the nature of a woman is not just to get what it is that she can out of it. Oh. I'll give you an example. The way you present it, you saying, okay, well, she knows she can get out of it, and there's a lot of suckers out of here, mm -hmm. right? That's one way to look at it. The other way to look at it is that, because because a lot of women for the streets look at it that way, too. The other way to look at it is... Nicole, don't believe a, a, tr a real woman understands that she gets more out of life and out of the men that she with by being a servant to him, right? So I'll give you an example. If you're if you a wife 
And you truly pour into your man the way that you're supposed to. You really leverage your femin femininity the way that you're supposed to in that. You're empowering, right? You have a nurturing spirit. You, you are a resource and you allow for him to be able to use you as a resource in order to connect with wives that then bring the business back to him. In most instances, you are the one that's the beneficiary of y'all greatness. So when he closes the deal, you the one that's going to determine where the money is going because you're the one that's going to be spending the majority of it. His focus is to build. And then when he comes back home, he enjoys the fruits of his labor and the places that he's created based off of what it is that you've, you've been able to leverage and then, and then ultimately place at his feet, but largely you don't want to ride the first class flights. You don't want to drive the cars. You don't want to do the majority of the shopping. And so because women are so focused on what they can get out of it, instead of what they can put into a relationship, they largely do themselves a disservice because he's the one that's going to open up the doors. All you got to do is, yeah. is leave them there. Like if, if you find a woman and you can teach her and help her to understand her true value, right? A woman never has to argue with a man. What she would do is she would leverage her femininity because you can say the same thing and get the most out of him if you then communicate differently, but you can say the same thing. And then your femininity, you can unlock any door. And then he's the one that walks through it. He's the one that closes the deals. He's the one that builds. He's the one that put his life on the line. And then you're the beneficiary of it. But if you're not pouring into it, instead of you trying to lead with how it, how it is that you can get the most out of it, you then do yourself, you cut your foot off. How you going you to do service. So what I'm saying is, Women at, at some point when they get up in a certain environment and when they get around a certain dude, they got to change their mindset. And then he puts her in a position of power. He unleashes her. He's not trying to contain her. He unleashes her. He puts her in a position of power that then she benefits from his greatness. So when women stop saying, what can I get out of this instead of how would it, how is it that I can serve you? How is it that I can be a, a, a submissive wife? That's not a bad thing. That's the thing that puts you in a position of power. Right. But right. most of them don't understand it because we so busy having a conversation of how they can leverage their pussy instead of how it is that they can leverage their femininity. It's a I, I can wrap that up for you, Antoine. Ask not what your husband can do for you, but ask what you can do for your <laughs> husband. That's my the guy that gives women everything. Antoine, you're contradicting No, 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 no. Listen, I understand, I understand why Antoine jealous because oh. this is the first panel we done had compliant women on here. You you could tell they wise because they not they not rowdy. They not trying to over talk. They right here listening. And ain't nothing sexier than a, a, a female with her top lip touching her bottom lip. That's what y'all don't understand. Yeah. So I, I agree wholeheartedly with Antoine. I, 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 I agree. Women on here. I agree that women have to be submissive in. Anton, in you're home. muted. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Let me, let me do the cherry on top like this. I'm gonna do it like this. God. It's God over man, something. it's God over man, man over woman, woman over the child. And the reason our, why our that's trying works, to speak, sir. The reason why that hierarchy works is, is beautiful, right? And this is how it goes. When I pray, when I matured, and the reason that I really, really started getting rich and becoming great is when I had conversations with God in the morning, I stopped begging, right? And I started being thankful. And the and the only thing I would lead with is say, yo. What is it that you want me to do, right? And the reason that I start having that conversation differently with God is because it says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else will be added unto you, meaning that the money comes with it. The greatness comes with it, right? <laughs> Phenomenal marriage and all of these things come with it. But the minute I became a servant asking what he wanted for me, I realized that the things that was great for me was much bigger than what I thought was good for myself. And it's the same thing with the hierarchy with women, right? And when a woman comes to a man and say, hey, what is it that I can do for you? He want to give her the fucking world because he values her differently than a woman that's trying to extract resources from him. So when a woman becomes a servant leader in her own household, she then benefits much more than what she imagines she can get from him with some fucking hair, a meal at Ruth Chris and a handbag. But you see what I'm saying? It's a different mindset with a woman that's a wife versus a woman that's for the streets. No, but you got to train these. You, you acting like these women come out with a bow on their head and they're perfect. You got to train these women. No, no disrespect, ladies. They come out like they come out like wild ass animals because they're the yeah. average. 
Well, I say, they're the average of every sucker they had or every soft male before them. So they don't even know what value is because the guys that they're with don't value themselves. You're talking about a man that knows how to set expectations. You're talking about a man that delegates things. You're talking about a man who has influence. You're talking about a man that leads the woman. You're talking about a man that is clear, concise, transparent, and impactful. Yes, you're right, Anton, but where you're wrong is – you're dealing with, you know, Anton, 98, most like almost 90% of these suckers out here are not men. And that's why women take the man roles because these suckers allow women to walk all over them. Right, now, sure, now, if you're a man, if you're a man, Anton, yes, you have a program that she has to follow because if she doesn't follow your program, there's the door. I'll replace you like that. But these guys don't talk that way to women. They want it. Oh, you're beautiful. You're sexy. Oh, let me give you dick. Let me kiss your ass. Let me take you out. Like you say, let me give you court seat tickets. Let me let me take you to this place and let me leave with my fucking wallet. And then you see why they treat them like suckers because they don't value themselves, Anton. So you're talking about a man that values himself. I'll give you that, Anton. But these guys don't value themselves because if they did, they wouldn't be buying women weave and $200 this, and they wouldn't be taking them out to dinner. They'd go get a loaf of bread, take it to Lake Spread, your ass cheeks, feed the ducks, and that's all she deserves. All right. Yep. Go ahead, Ashley. <laughs> Ashley wanted to say something. Go ahead, Ashley. I was, I was just going to say that as far as um, the submissive part, I do believe in a marriage, and it's for both people. Having a submissive heart will take you a much further than – trying to battle everything. So if you can communicate, you can have conversation. Being submissive is not a negative thing. It's not degrading to a woman, but that is how your household runs. I have a submissive heart for my husband. I'm going to take care of him. I still work. I still do all those things, but I'm going to clean. I'm going to do the laundry. I'm going to cook meals. I'm going to do all of those things because like you said, it supports him on his journey. And I'm the one that makes the decisions in the household when it's all said and done. What? Wait. <laughs> I mean, but she she's right though, because and I. It's, it's I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you why she's right. Husband, but that's oh, what she, she said. Will, what she said. I'm gonna tell you why, she why she's right. Oh my lord, she's 100 right. I'm gonna tell you why she's right. Oh, geez. I don't have time to be nitpicking and making a decision for every single thing that comes in this household. I empower my chick. She's the one that's actually working with the architect to build the house that we building. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck about no water heater. She the one that paid this fucking $7,000 bill that I just used in order to work with the tenants. The tenants call her. They don't call me. And then she, if she gets, if she gets confused, she'll call me and, and run it by me and say, Hey, did you say this, this, and this, or did you say that, that, and that, but ultimately she's the one that goes through. And, and makes a decision and contact the architect. And she's the one that go and pull the permits. And she works with the contractors on making sure that that fucking furnace and the walk in the, in the, um, in the air, air, the central air system is replaced. She's handling that because I've empowered her to do that. I don't have time to be sitting here going back and forth and dealing with tenants and answering emails. She don't want to do all of that shit. Because she had your leadership. She, 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 didn't, she didn't have class for it. Why would I do that when she's literally a Swiss army knife? For me to utilize her to do this shit. She's, she's, got, to, she's got to be able to. I see what you're saying, uh, but the, the, but a woman may be making a decision in the household that is fucking ludicrous. Her decision is after she tells the man, and he decides and makes the final decision. So mm -hmm. she can get with the architect and all the, the the AC guy and have the information, and then go to the man and say, "Baby, this is what it is. Do I have man, your stamp?" Not dealing with that shit. If you think that I got time to be sitting and and for every single decision when I've literally empowered her and taught her what it is that she's supposed to be doing, man, I'm not doing that. See, that my, communication is key. That communication piece well, comes see, before anything. Ain't one of y'all wrong. Okay, so Anton, I said it right. Anton. And so you you got a little bit more financial uh capital to make the mistakes to to leave your your chick in, in charge. My guy over here he got a micromanage because the margin for error. Oh, bro, she's smart human. as fuck. Well, not she margin. don't be making mistakes. Well, see, she don't it, be fucking up. Well, we we don't we don't we don't we don't find too many chicks that don't make mistakes. Let me tell you something. When I talk <laughs> to you, they on, when I, I talk to you. Q is one of the biggest assets that I have. 
When but I talk to Q, Q, do you know? When I talk to Q, we don't have no long fucking conversations. She'd be like, Anton, A, B, C, and D. I'll be like, bet. She just nope. give me an update on what the fuck is going on. I don't be trying to micromanage her and figure out what the fuck she's doing. She just but don't. Every, every woman is not that competent. That, that, but that, that, aren't y'all supposed to teach and mold the woman. I think that yes. Rita knows her husband well enough to where it, she can make the decision for him. And plus, why would you want to go to your man who's working, make him money? That's a waste of his time. No, no, right. no. It, everybody why is not teachable. Right. Well, you don't need to be with her if she's not teachable. <laughs> no, it, it, listen, I can be with her if she's not teachable. She might help. She might be retarded when it comes to handling business for the house that just ain't what she is selling and she just a selling well, she she be most people that get in touch with me you got to go through my chick first a, a woman is a representation of a man should never say i work in household that's just everybody that and ever did business with me never they usually no. have to go through my they usually at some point or another got to go through my chick first she doesn't have to go through an assistant i just make you have to go through an assistant and then you might get through rita and then you get to me. But you are you are not going to talk directly to me. And I don't know you. I ain't never had no conversation with you. I ain't never met you in real life. It is You will never, ever get in touch with me before you get, go through her. And, um, but, you know, mate, like, why not use her skills? Like, yeah, like she's going to be a she student, like, If she can't support, why did you pick her? Why as a matter of fact, the thing, the thing that Rita says to me on a regular basis, just yesterday, she said, Anton, why are you not use, using me even more? Why are you not fucking taking advantage of me even more? That's, that's what she says to me. That's fine. But to my guy point, everybody don't want a co-worker for a girlfriend. Hey, oh, right. No, 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 that's a girlfriend. We wife. No girl. Right. Co-worker. Like yeah. you know, everybody don't want they 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 girl. They want to be able to to uh to divide the two. Like me, listen, I don't bro. Listen, bro. For any woman that's around me, whether you my wife or whether you a chick that, that just roll with me, if you are not adding value to me, I'm not just hanging the fuck around you. Like, listen, if, if all you got to a, a wife, if all you got to offer me is pussy, I don't need you. But value can be added besides her hip. Uh, if all, listen, I got we got maids, we got fucking. I don't what else? I don't need you to cook. I don't need your, I don't need none of that shit. If the only thing you can offer to me is to lay in the bed and pussy, I'm good on you. I don't need you. I need but, people that can add value into my life with what it is that they can utilize their skill set, the things that they do great, your project management experience. You you know how to manage. I want people that got a skill set. I don't fucking need yeah. another girl. But you guys don't have maids, Anton. You're 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 talking in the world of our Anton on Elysium and shit. We're talking that from Olympus back to the real world, where motherfuckers are probably living paycheck to paycheck, don't yeah. have maids and things like that. We're talking. No, about it's the same thing. It doesn't matter how much money you make, bro. It's the same thing, bro. Let's see. You can't you, say that because let's I can't be say that. You act like I always had money. No, but you can't say okay. We we don't need nobody to to cook and clean. <laughs> What when you poor? <laughs> like, we definitely need somebody on the dishes. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. We need somebody cooking. I ain't gonna do that. Fold the clothes. Y'all not getting the most. Y'all not getting the most out of the people that's around y'all. That's, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Oh yeah, we are. We're getting the most of it. It's not just pussy. We're giving them structure. We're giving them structure. It's just that most a lot of guys are afraid to tell a woman what to do because he's worried about losing the fucking woman. That's the problem. I, <laughs> Her value should not be in how good she giving you sex, how good she can season some food and clean. That that's everybody. What, what is you talking you about? I like been a gold standard rubric forever. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? I, what what that can a woman do? That that the, that's the bare minimum. No, that's the that's baby. That's the pre. That's not even a bear. Like that should be natural for a woman to know them skills already. Like I hate when women like. like don't try to get on these motherfucking fall aromas now, because you you got to know how to do the three things you just listed. Them are prerequisites to even get in this class. Period. True. Period. Okay. With a smile on your face. Those are With basic skills. Mm -hmm. Like 
But I think that if how is her cooking, cleaning, and giving you sex? How is that adding value to your life? Because you're not valuable right now until I decide you're valuable. No, I mean, not not being me. Let's be honest here. Wait, you know, wait, the men. Okay, I I know y'all want to listen to Oprah and all these women that want to lie to y'all and tell y'all everything. But y'all and I say this with love. Y'all are not special until we decide you're special. Again, we choose your value. Either you're going to be a side chick. Are you going to be worth my time and my ring? So what are you going to do and bring to my world, my kingdom, outside of the pussy? Because I get pussy anywhere. So you need to get in on that. You need to get on that good foot, vacuum, fold clothes. And like I say, that's the beginning. But you got to show me why you're worth my name and my ring. You just don't come in because you got titties and ass. You think you get in? You get my name and ring because you got a nice ass? Come on, lady, stop that shit. If she's Hello. Cooking and cleaning. What are you bringing to it outside of the money? Yeah, man, anyway, you're coming out. You're going after my name and my ring. I'm not going after your name. I'm not hyphenating my fucking name. You're going after my name, and my ring. So you're like Smeagol on Lord of the Rings. You're going up that goddamn mountain to get my name and my ring. So if you're getting my name and my ring, you better show me why you're worth my name, my ring, and my dick, my sperm, and my bloodline. And oh, you, you, what, you what are you doing that makes it worth it? Your name is worth I, 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 What are we I, I, talking I, I, about here? No, I mean, there's no okay. There's nothing you can give a man. Get up, get up. Nothing you can give a man except a baby. Let's be honest. That's, we, we, uh, men are self-sufficient. We can do if everything. That was the case, then you could just be with anybody. But we can. You can. We can. We can. <laughs> we can. I'm gonna tell y'all women this. Y'all better hope don't no aliens come down here with no pussy, or y'all going extinct. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, let me get off the spaceship with some coochie. Y'all women, y'all done for. Y'all How did we get here? Market. Right, we, this looks... Oh, Not alien. How did we I'm get here? Y'all you want to know how we got here? We got here because they disagreed with me and then they turned around and they agreed with me. No, <laughs> no. They literally disagreed with me only to come back around and quit <laughs> No, I'm saying that they will have value once they prove and they follow our program and they show that they're worth our time, our ring, our attention, our respect, our dick, then our name and our ring and family. It's a, it's order to this shit. You just can't come in because you think you look good. You better take that, take all that shit out your hair, wipe all that makeup off and get on your knees and start scrubbing, cleaning and doing some shit to show that you get our interest. Well, that's what Antoine said, bringing more value. His wife is bringing more value. No, he wanted her to help her out with the bills. Antoine no, said he don't want no women. Out here he don't want no, want no woman to do the basic cleaning and shit. That's not what he's. You know what? It's more important for her to do that so he can go out and have those multiple streams of income while y'all are having one stream of income. Let me, let me explain it to them like this, Q. Let me explain it to them like this, Q. If you had. If you had a a Steve Jobs around you, right? Would you relegate him to just moving the chairs, or would you try to try to mine out how it is that you can utilize his talents to maximize the most out of him? If you had a a um, I don't know anybody. If you had a, a great mind around you, whether it was a woman or a man, would you be so rigid and that we're stuck on his mindset of? things that really don't mean shit to us or would you be leveraging that mindset or what it is that they do from a talent perspective in order to get the most out of them put them to work if i see a woman right and i'm having a conversation with her and that's why i said that we need to network with people instead of date them because when you network with people you get to understand the true value of what they bring by observing them in spaces um that they that you wouldn't normally get to observe them in you get to see where people's talent is, right? Yeah. And when I when I met Q, it shit clicked because I was like, damn, she being underutilized. They're not using her like this. They're not doing this. They're not doing that. And so immediately where, where everybody only seen what she looked like, I was like, shit, she this, she that. And I'm not giving y'all my secrets of what it is that I noticed, but oh. I'm like, she could do all of this shit. And so... I'm able to I'm able to truly understand the value that she brings and I'm able to put her in a different position instead of relegating her to whatever the fuck she looked like. And it's like most people can't see that. Most people can't look beyond what it is that you used to seeing somebody or putting somebody in a position to do in order to get the most out of that situation. My job as a leader, my job as a leader in work, my job as a leader in business, my job as a leader as a leader in corporate America 
is to figure out what makes you great and give you the tools that you need to be successful. That's it. That's my only job. I don't need you to fucking move the chairs. I've spotted your, cha- your talent. You don't need to be moving chairs. Let me put you in this position so that we can extract the most out of you and really put you in a position of power. That's my job. It's not to, to move on an archaic sense, right? Even if you pimping, you got to know the difference between this woman that, that can fucking go to the strip club and this woman that need to be on the track and this woman that need to be in the casino having conversations with hiring guys. You got to be able to identify the talent from the different women in order to put them in a position to get the most out of it. Put them to work. Most people don't get it. They don't get it. Well, you put them to work. I agree. You put them, don't, don't let them quit their job. No, no, I agree because there are a lot of guys don't put women to work. They want them to sit around and try to look pretty and everything. No, she's going to get work. She's going to bring money home. Her money is my money. She's bringing the money to me because I'm handling everything. I'm king. So she's got to understand her money is my money. And if we're dating, her crib is my crib. I got a kid of that motherfucker. And I come and go as I please. Yeah. Okay. We gonna, Next we question. Gonna, we gonna, <laughs> I don't think we agree, but we go. Let me read the super chats. Okay. Um, Ryan said two people came out the gate swinging. Um, uh, Carlton, super sticker. Thank you for that, sir. Um. I love it when you call me Big Papa Smurf. When you coming back to La Pifa, Miss You, Big Dog? We never coming back to that shit, so don't ask. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Bruiser, on his day. dude, what's up, Bruiser? Um, Eli said, by time all black panel. Damn, y'all don't want diversity. <laughs> nigga, we want the whites with the Indians, nigga, and Gaddies, nigga. Wow. <laughs> Carlton says, super sticker. Thank you, Carlton. Oh, sorry. Carlton again. Thank you, sir. Carlton again. Thank you. And Carlton. Carlton Britton, thank you. Thank you for this. <laughs> thank you for this. <laughs> 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 they don't know how to use it. Yeah, why? Yeah, he probably knew. It's okay, Carlton. Why well, should don't say nothing? <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. We accept it all. But since we're talking about leading with money, right? So I'm about to play this little video clip uh, for you guys. It's talking about leading their money. That's a mistake a lot of rich men make. They seem to think that if they can support a girl and give her a good life, loyalty is a given. But what they're forgetting is a woman that craves a good life doesn't seek emotional intimacy. She seeks financial intimacy. Any woman who doesn't seek emotional intimacy is far more likely to stray. The most likely to be cheated on is these men that spoil their women. Because yeah. loyal women want to be spoiled by time. They don't want to be spoiled by possession. Anton, oh wait, where did Anton go? He need to hear this. He need to hear this because we understand financial. She's right. That's why men don't leave with their wallet because we hook the woman emotionally. You don't have to leave with your wallet. That's why I keep telling y'all guys: women will cook for you, they will wash dishes for you, they will do anything that when you connect emotionally. But when you don't have game, you leave with your wallet. You pander kiss their ass, and you try to beg, barter for something that you can get for free. Anton, you missed it. She was just talking about you a second ago. You missed it. <laughs> the, the, the lady was just talking to you, talking about you a second ago, Anton. I, was like, hey, Lord, I, I, heard it. I heard it. I was listening. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. And again, I don't know how people are in real life, but ain't nobody fucking with me on no game type shit. All right. Here's the difference. I, I got both. I got money. And I and when I walk up to you, you're gonna move differently around me. So that's a given, right? That's not even a question. What she's talking about is the difference, is the difference, right? But what she's not adding as a part of that is that you can have both. You can have your cake and eat it too. It's not an either or. It's not an either or for some of us, right? As a matter of fact, I would even go so far as to say, if you spend too much time around your chick, that's a problem. If your chick is not yearning for you when you get home, if if, if you not gone for two days and she's literally yearning for you by the time that you get in the door, then you're not him. You're not that guy. If your, if your chick is okay, listen, if your chick is okay with you going, everywhere and she not always begging to go with you 
and you have to tell her no sometimes. And then when you get home, she's so excited to see you. When I walk in the door, and I just said this the other day, honest to God on my father's grave, I walked in the door from, from being gone all day, and she was like, oh, you about to take a shower? She was already turning the shower on for me. If your chick ain't doing it, you can have both. You can have your cake and eat it too. It's not an either or. But but money don't got to be what you making it. Like me as a reformed street nigga, right? I ain't have too much. What, what I used to do to make a female feel entrusted, I put her on my sacred playlist. I, I put up, yeah, like no, you you putting your hands over your head, nigga. But yo, yo, chick got her playlist from me. You know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. putting, I'm putting her on this new feature. I'm putting her on this Boston Richie. Y'all don't understand how sacred a man playlist is to a woman. Oh yeah, you know what? So what you value in money? I also, I can I can just use that as something else in my, my playlist. I I, I, I'm, I'm speaking for the regular ass nine to five. No, ain't got no money, niggas. <laughs> nigga, I'm just sweet, nigga. I make them laugh, nigga. I don't leave with none of this shit y'all talking about, nigga. They love my fucking personality. Fuck your Bro, money. Put a chick on a playlist and watch how much he loves you, nigga. <laughs> put a chick on that. Uh, put a chick on that new music that she know nothing about. Listen, this is how you know your playlist hitting on shit. When she don't ask you for the music, she just try to get it on her phone so she so she don't seem lame. That's you putting her on to something. That it, it feels just like money when you were broke, nigga. And, and to, I, if, if y'all, if, if you get in the shower, if you getting in the shower and your girl not trying to sneak in the shower with you, then oh, you're no. not that guy. No, nah, you can't come in the bathroom with me. I don't like none of you that. You can come in the bathroom with me. In my can come space. In the with me. That's sacred. If 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 you get in the bed and she keep her phone <laughs> on and she's still scrolling up and down on TikTok when you jump in the bed with her, then you're not that guy, right? Not if guy. if if she's not trying to go with you, right? Because you we we always conflate money money with you know time spent and all of that other type of stuff. It's not. She gonna be that way whether you got the money or not. She just so happen to enjoy it because you just so happen to happen to have the money. She gonna be on your tip no matter what. I see dudes that ain't got nothing and they got full control over their fucking chick. That chick love that dude's draws and he ain't got nothing and she believe in him. And he gonna probably be successful at some point. But my point is, is that you can have both. You can have submissiveness. You can have a chick pining for you. A woman is always, no matter how much time you spend with her, she's always going to want more of your time. She's always going to want more of you. That's just the way that they are. That's the nature of a woman. I didn't disagree with that. I'm with you on that one. I honestly do agree with her standpoint. Um, like, because if, if a chick is really after you just for your money, and another guy comes around that makes more money, and let's say he has confidence or he looks better looking, Women are probably more easy to hop to the next man, especially if they're going after a man based on only money. And there are men that are leading with money because that's all they got. They don't have confidence. They're probably not cute. And that's why, you know, come to Houston, you got a lot of men that be like, oh, because that's all they got. And women's going to find the next man that's going to spend more, look better, fancy your car. So I, I do agree with her little video. I don't know where, where Steve was saying. No. Money, money don't I agree money. with her too. I just think that it's a third category that's not being addressed too. What's that? It's the both. You can have both. All right. I'm with them. I'm no, with you can't have both. But money doesn't make you a man though, though. The money is not about manhood. That, that's in the game. That's that's part of the game. Game ain't about the money or the women or anything like that. It's about structure and stuff. So you can't have those things. I agree. I agree. I can't argue that one. You can have you can have money. You can be kicked up, but you don't you don't you don't leave with the money. You leave with the mind and who you are. You know. I don't think that money makes the man like a money don't make a man better or nothing like that. It just make him more of who he already is. So if you are, you can be a lame with money, yeah. you can be a, a real dude without money, right? I don't think that money makes the guy. It just make you more of what you already have. There's plenty of dudes out here. You see them, and they still lame, and they and they Lambos, and they lame. They was a good nerd, right? No matter how much jujitsu Mark Zuckerberg does, no matter how rich he get, he's still fucking lame. Yeah, yeah. That's just the way it is. You know what I'm saying? We like his apps. He's smart as fuck. He's rewarded as a result of it, but he's still lame. 
Lame rich guy. What, what makes him lame, though? Oh, come on now. Well, we're using it as a figure of speech. I'm saying, that, <laughs> I'm saying a guy, I, like, for now. example, a guy that feel like they have to buy your love or a guy that would need him to go and get a girl that he otherwise wouldn't qualify for. I yeah. don't think that he should do that. I think that he should go with the chick that's actually going to rock with him instead of going with the woman that he think that he got to go and buy. I think that he need to spend more time focused on that shit. I mean, hey, Mark, 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 Mark Zuckerberg chick is some Reggie. Like, I ain't going to lie. Like, she ain't. You know, so I, so I think he really did that. What you just said, he got no. to get rid of Rockwell. No, nah, no. Nah. See, okay, we got then. Now we got to look at book smarts versus street smarts. <clears throat> he does have book smarts? I like, give him that. But he ain't got no street smarts. So well, he, how do you know that? Why do he have a meeting? He ain't going to the street. Because, because I'm just saying, women know marks. Y'all, y'all act like women can't spot a mark from far away and act like, oh, you know what? Mark Zuckerberg finessed the shit out of them niggas who did Facebook. What you talking about? That nigga got all the street smarts. That's, that's the business side. Now, of that's the business. That's business. He's business. No, 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 no. That's street smart. That's that's the same smart. thing. No, it's the same thing. It is. You gotta understand them type of women you talking about don't exist in Mark World, bro. Do you really you, think you, you, you are never find right? a Teresa at, at motherfucking Facebook? Listen, you ain't never heard of Mark Zuckerberg getting finessed by nobody. Not a woman. You not never a, heard not right? a dude, not you nobody. Know? Mark ain't yeah. never got finessed by nobody. I finessed him out of chick. I ain't gonna lie. Can't say never. Can't say never. He ain't never, never got finessed by nobody. Mark has got the legs before, bro. That's his wife. That's his wife. She got eight plates under her shirt. I, I had to look it up because I ain't know. Who y'all Mark got finessed? And I told you a beautiful about. Asian woman. What y'all talking about? Oh. Mark, was, Mark was the finesser, <laughs> not the finesse. The, uh, the, the, his metal quest didn't pay off. <laughs> <laughs> it, like, it did. It, it didn't. I'm, I'm a big techie. I love tech. Listen, I still, I got both of the Oculuses upstairs. I do too. I got them. I'm big they, 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 they excellent, but they ain't took off yet. He took a big L. He invested oh, a lot wow, of you know, took on, L. Put this yeah. on a million or more on the show. Check the number. Yeah, yeah you're right, T. You're right. Uh, yeah. Check so, the numbers. <laughs> you're looking at Mark Mars, the businessman. Uh, it's, it's, like, it's no different than a strip club. It, when, the, when the sucker walks in the club, every stripper knows his uh, portfolio. And she knows exactly what to be for every guy because she knows how to get that in vain. Yo, I don't know why y'all think just because he got money, you can tell that motherfucker ain't get no pussy. You can look at it. You can tell motherfucker ain't fucking he's probably This is probably his first girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Like, probably his first girlfriend, dog. Come on, man. That um, nigga is so nice. That nigga, what you talking about? Like, white men, it looks different on white men. Goober. Goober. Uh, and that woman's smart. You know what she did? She, she got that. She threw that pussy on his ass, acting like he wanted a bunch of money. Did they, do they have a prenup? Does he have a prenup with her? Not. I don't know. We don't know. Hey, don't know. Well, we, check, we check, but most motherfuckers. Hey, she, she good. She good. She cake. She won, ladies. See, no, ladies. No, wow, man. Wait, wait. Man. Man. Y'all acting like God because he because he good he can move money that he gained the fuck up man women know that you women can't name know. one situation where Mark got finesse not one <sighs> like he genuinely loves her it ain't like he got the baddest bitch that he could have bought nigga he got I mean, this she might, woman she might be the baddest bitch to him bro like he be the baddest bitch to him exactly he generally like her ass we can't I, look, a man should not judge a man for what he's seeing I'm not judging yeah. what he has I'm I'm giving women credit here. Women have a folder on most of these guys out here knowing how to run game. It's a lot of these women be some pretty ass idiots. Like I, I'm not gonna lie. So that's because she looked how she looked don't mean that she ain't the shit. So y'all gotta understand. Y'all can't even get in the room. Most these women can't even get in the same room as this dude, bro. True. Oh my god! What are we talking about, y'all? I know what I said. What I said, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, I don't think y'all understand. Like. This dude is not, he is more street smart than a lot of the dudes that y'all think is street smart. Uh, dude that y'all, listen, the dude that y'all think is street smart is paying child support right now. No, no, we talking about pimps, max players, ballers, and hustlers, motherfuckers that have games. That don't make you street smart, just be, listen, just because don't, you get don't, pussy don't, 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 say don't say that. that smart. Street, street smart, street smart can get you in the room, y'all. Street smart can get you in the room. I'm going to uh, get you uh, corner offices. Street smart get you uh, raises at the job. That's what you're talking about. 
D Town, you dedicated right my boy. You come alive from the way reception. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, man! I just needed something for my background, man. You see me though, huh? We thugging. You oh, heard the boys good. thugging in there, hoe. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, you know, oh, really. You got mad, bro? Yeah, yeah. Doing yeah. uh, those game signs at the wind. Oh yeah, oh clip Dallas Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh, you know what I'm saying right now? But they've been married since college, y'all. FYI, they met in at, at Harvard at the restaurant at a bathroom. So you like you like that, huh, CK? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Let, let's meet up and shoot at each other, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Just... Come on down here. Okay. I'm sorry, kid. Go ahead and do things. No, I'm like, <laughs> y'all want y'all number? Just give him your number right now. Do it live. Hey. Shout out to Old Clip, man. I, I, I always be on TK shit, man. You know, he he got that drum over there. I love it, boy. <laughs> I, you <laughs> Alan, you said they met in a back room or something like that? No, a bathroom. So they met at Harvard in undergrad season. I mean, undergrad. Uh, and they was at a restroom in the line, and that's how they started talking. Well, hey, well Anton, I get, hey, where, where's this guy that you can't get in the room with? He, she went in the goddamn bathroom and got that sucker. So we talking about that was he before he got yeah, that nigga was That's broke. before he had money, though. He was in college. What are you talking he about? He was in college. He was in college. What are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. Man, there's a movie. It's called Facebook. Watch it. Yeah. Those dudes don't want the woman at the finish line, bro. They want the woman cheering them on during the race, bro. Yeah, that's you true. Know. I'm giving that. That's true. So then that's what I'll take. I ain't gonna lie. Like you see my <laughs> girl. Well, my I just I had bad bitch you. on the so. so you want to know the difference. But yeah. Next question. <laughs> Before we move on to the next thing, hey Ashley and Jasmine, I got a question for y'all. Do y'all look at Mark? Do y'all look at Mark Zuckerberg as a lame? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Women are professional liars, bro. <laughs> hey, Nicole, 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 do you look at Mark Zuckerberg? Is it solely about, about the money? Nicole, do you look at Mark Zuckerberg as a lame? No, let me let, tell you why. Let me tell you why. Yeah. Let me yeah, tell so. you why. This yeah, I like. I like a yeah, smart guy. To internet. me, to me, you smart. And if you smart, I know I can help you elevate you even to a higher level. And we and us together, listen. We gonna build and connect together, and we are gonna have even more together. So for me, like to me, it's not all about looks for me. It's what's up here. That's that's how you get me. It's with the mind. I married a cyber. Wait, 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 I'm gonna say that for the end of the show. That's gonna future is a lame. That's a lame. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna save it for the end of the show. <laughs> now, Anton, let's let's give it a buck. I got a really good question, and I'm now gonna say for the end of the show. Okay, let, 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 let's, let, let's, please let's, let's let's realize that women are great interviewers. Great, they know love. exactly what to say. They don't mean that it's 20 niggas that work at the Salvation Army right now who they can talk to <laughs> that look like Mark Zuckerberg, who they look over all day. Oh, Ashley, her husband is a, go ahead, Ashley, because I heard yeah. what you're saying. Go ahead. My husband's a cyber security nerd. Like, that's just, it wasn't about, yes, I was attracted to him, but at the same time, like, he wasn't in the, I was out in the club. He wasn't in the club. Uh, he, wasn't, he wasn't doing any of those things. And I would have never met him, but he's completely opposite of the guys I used to date, but he showed me something different. And oh. guess what? We got married. I love that. So, so he was the one that saved you. That's what you're saying, Ashley. No, 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 no. I got my own money. That that's never oh. been the issue for me. Oh. So, so, it was in the bag, bro. We why, would why? rather this than out in the club, or he out in the club right. with his little right. homeboys, um, in sections and bottles. Y'all capping right now. Like, my man was in the library. Thank you, bro. Y'all know he got the money, bro. Come on, y'all. 
Right. If that's the case, all black men would be married today because they got a bunch of point dexters on their app right now on their phone right. that want to date them and marry them. And they know they don't want to be with them. How do y'all know that? That's, that's that's a 20 year old me was not worried about the, the, the 30 some, I'm almost 40. 20 year old Ashley was not worried about who she was going to be married to and dating at 30. 20 year old oh. Ashley is not the same person I am today. So, oh. as a woman, if you don't evolve to recognize that Mark Zuckerberg is not the is not lame. No, let, let's be honest. When you hit Thirty, you hit that wall. Yeah, yeah, actually, and, and then you, and then you gotta find something. But no, see, you know. when you yeah. in your twenties, you playing a genetic lottery. Yeah, actually, okay. let's be honest. <laughs> when you in your twenties, you knew better then, but you yep. still look good. Use that. When you hit thirty, oh, hey, you ain't gonna be as bad as you was at twenty-one. Let's hey, stop the count. I didn't mean I had to settle. I no, you, you, you wanted that real street nigga, but at thirty, you know you couldn't hang with them young. Yeah, guys. Don't you even dated a street man? No, 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 I'm just, I'm just speaking in general. Oh, Let's okay. be honest. When y'all when y'all prime, y'all weren't looking for these Russells or uh, nobody like none, one of them. none of them. Come on, let's be honest. You, you, weren't weren't looking for the, you weren't looking for the type of woman you met in your thirties. In your twenties, no. were you? What is no, your thing? Ladies, definitely. Niggas been looking for bad bitches all their life. Hey, T Pain, you use your bodies to get the free meals and free drinks. Then when you hit thirty, your pussy is like chewed up meat. You got to fucking, you know, your eggs about to dry up, and you like, you know what? I gotta find that guy that liked me when I was fucking, and he, he's a loser and all this other shit. So I know I get that guy. And then, hey, you know y'all. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. I never looked at the dudes. That was more focused as lames. I, I thought that those dudes was the smart ones, and I thought that the dudes that was always trying to be in the middle of everything, they're the lame ones. Was the lame? No, Antoine, them smart dudes wanted to be popping like this. They just knew it wasn't them. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. No, 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 no. You missing it. You missing it. You missing it. <laughs> you could be, you could be smart and still be a lame, right? You could be a, a dude that that's a thug and still be a lame. <laughs> Right. I'm saying that I'm saying that it's certain dudes that just stayed out of the way. They didn't try to be more than what they wanted to be. They just wanted to just chill and do their own thing. I've never been a type of dude to go to a club. I go to a bar. I go to a cigar lounge. Yeah. I, when I was 20, I, I was never the type of dude to go to a club. I just, I didn't, I wasn't feeling it. And so I did what I wanted to do instead of doing what the popular thing was to do. And that's cool. I don't look, I don't look at dudes that but stay and focused. And so what we say is the women I don't want to stay for focused and stay in lane as lame. I look at the dudes that was following everybody else trying to be visible uh, as lame. I looked at those dudes as lame. Anton, you married your, Anton, but you married your, you married your high school sweetheart, though, didn't you? Right? Listen, listen. So, I, it so ain't I, it ain't so that, it ain't no you. woman. No, no, that y'all got access to that I can't have. No, today. we're not saying it. We're not saying it at all. It ain't a, it ain't a woman. It ain't a woman that y'all could have access to that I can't have before you get to it. But that's how I feel about. I feel from, the same way about your woman. From, I feel listen, the same way about 19, your woman. From 1993 <laughs> to 2023. It's yep. not a woman that y'all have access to that I cannot have. And, you got, and I feel that same way. I feel like you're trying my pimping now. Yeah, I feel that same way, Anton. I, I, feel, I feel like, like you're trying my pimping now. With you. I'm I'm a, like I'm you a, not that time. Listen, listen. You, you can't try at, my at, at any point, at any point, at any point, I right. know I'm out, I'm out here. I will you, travel to your city. At you, any point, at yes. any point, we can, we can all link up and we can play however y'all want to play it. Bring your camera. No, Bring you it down. You got a businessman, but you ain't got no game. Motherfuckers with game, dog. Listen, I, I, know I know y'all talking. Let me say one thing. Hey, you can. Right, hold on, The hubris is at an all-time high right now. Hold on, Quentin. Hold on, Quentin. <laughs> at any point, I will, I, we can all, I will come to y'all city. And, and, and listen, you have witnessed it. A lot of men have said a lot of shit. And when we, all, when we link up in person, they shake my hand like this. <laughs> Why? Because they hey, you know, ain't gonna be look, shaking. Look, Anton. First thing, <laughs> I, I'll come get you. They not like this. They like oh, this. Look, they shake me. Hey, you said what detail? I said I'll come get you from Love Field, La DFW, wherever you at. Dallas Airport. You gonna Man. pick him up, my boy? 
Yeah, like, yeah, it, yeah, we even got, yeah, a, yeah. We even got a private one in Oak Cliff, you know what I'm saying, right here. Listen, I've seen, I seen, a, I seen a lot of people say a lot of things. I've seen a lot of people say a lot of things. I have not seen any any performances the same way that I see it communicated online. That's all I'm saying. Oh, wait a second. I got, oh, brother, I you, know, I, you know I got receipts. So you 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 know I got receipts. I've been doing this shit for a long time. Ex Jigolo anti. You know I know what the fuck I'm talking about. So anti, come on. You at when it comes to the business world, I I I I, I, I shake your hand hard and I give you your props. You got, got it. it. You got it. When it comes to the game, street game, mouthpiece. And let the real one show. Come on, Anti. You go. Hey, you looking like third place over here, Antoine. I ain't you. Ain't got nothing for you. Man. You can't even get that nigga's name right. Listen, listen, listen. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. We can, we can, we can listen. No. We, can, we can put every last one of these women that's on this panel right now in a hypothetical situation and say, Nah, we ain't gonna put them on blast like that. No, we're gonna put them on blast like that. I don't want these people to be like No, don't over talk me now. Don't over talk me now. We can put every woman in this panel in a hypothetical situation and say, If you was not married or you was not in a relationship now, who at the top of your list? All right, wait, wait, Angela, not top of the list. Let's do it this on way. This panel right now. Hold on, and let's do this way. Right now. Hey, Jason. You first. Q. Who you taking, Q? I said yeah, Jasmine. Go ahead, Jasmine. Wait. Jasmine huh? <laughs> <Just his cream froze. laughs> Just- screen froze. Let's be honest. <laughs> Women-, <laughs> <laughs> Women has always been been, been 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 horrible at picking niggas. They pick uh, Joe Biden. Oh, no. <laughs> They always pick the wrong nigga first. You know who's gonna win. Well, I got this, Anton. You think you got we it? We all know who's gonna win. Come on, right? You, we you all know. know. Listen. You got, oh, no, no, no. It's a high. Hey, argument. Jasmine. Who you got, Jasmine? Let, let's ask the ladies. A high Y'all take it. Which are these men, ladies? Who Starting at five. Is, Starting is at five. Me? Damn, okay. Let's say hypothetically, if you would choose for your friend, your home married, huh? I said for my girl, your home girl. I mean, I don't know them, so I guess I would have to say, I would have to say, if I had my home girl, I guess I would say, Anton. Anton, okay. <laughs> because Anton on the link. But just because, <laughs> I don't know. That's, I just, he like, said that's not a link. It's just like Mark Zuckerberg. It's like Mark Zuckerberg. You know, you know her home girl gonna come back and spend hey, the can we, can we let the ladies finish? We, we Shut up. Shut up. It's the ladies' turns, fellas. Okay, Ashley, if you had to pick a chick, I mean, if you had to pick a man for one of your homegirls that are single, which man would you choose? Anton. Anton. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cricket. I, I'm gonna say Anton. Oh, uh, platform. Even, even in how his, even if he, this is his representative showing up today, his delivery of how he treats matters. Ashley. My friends are out here dating trash right now, so I cannot man. have the I'm the man that wants them to scrub, and then the man. The that wants to Ashley, man, you, you see this right here too. Wait, can yeah. Ashley finish? No, yeah. I, I'll explain it later. Mm-hmm. I'll explain yeah. later too. Ahead, what, about the, what about the toddler? It's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's all in the delivery of what I've seen today. I'm new here, but based on the delivery of what I've seen, he would have to get the front runner. Now he might be trash on the back end, but I can yes. do so much. No. He is I trash. Can so much. I can only do so much. Why? <laughs> Y'all funny. Okay. No, let's like Antoine Nicole, so we can explain. Oh, Nicole. If you had to pick a, a pick a man on this panel for your friend that's single, who would you pick? Anton, 
I'm gonna have to go with Anton. Duh. Like a what? Duh. I'm Damn. My ball in. I'm taking my ball and going home. This how gullible y'all women are. If you type of dogs in this world, it's a poodle and a pit bull. I'm a motherfucking pit bull. You know I'm a bite you. But that nigga Anton, he gonna sneak up on your rub on your leg. <laughs> when you reach down to pet him, he gonna bite you. <laughs> hey, who, you, who, you who you got, Q? You the only person that's live. Who you got? We know no, Jazzy, you know what I'm, I'm, I'm hosting this. I don't play this nah, game. Nah, Q. Yeah. You got it, mama. Who you got? Who you got Welcome you? back, Jasmine. Who you Jasmine. Got, Jasmine. <laughs> so, Jasmine, if you had to pick a man in this panel, who would you pick? Oh, Look, Jazz, I got pick. tattoos, Jazz. I got no, tattoos. We got tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> I got a mug shot. Yes, I got tattoos too. <laughs> what you think, Jasmine? Jasmine. Oh, well, this, 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 this how women be for real. They be loud. She gonna pick a stud. <laughs> <laughs> No, AT, you know what's gonna happen? They gonna pick Anton, then they go on a date with him. He asked him all them boring, dumbass, weak questions. They gonna realize he can't fuck, and then they gonna come find us. Cause Anton can, Anton can show that front end that he got about shit, but you know he ain't got no mouthpiece. You know well, he can't just, come out there. Hey, no, 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 for real. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say point. this. It's, it's, you might be shocked, but when you go to a meetup, like you'll see these guys crying on Anton and Anton is very how he is online, he's very social and he friendly, right? He's very social. So now, now, this is this, this is prime example how all the women want one man while the rest of the good dudes over here. Uh, this is the prime example. You see, yeah, you asked the call. Hey, read that super face. chat. Which, which is the last man? Answer that question. Uh, okay. This, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> let's just no, no, no. Let's just let's just keep it moving. So, what's what's the next subject? I, I mean, my point is my point is proven. <laughs> and, and, here, and here's the worst. And here's the worst part about it. It's even it's even worse in person. Listen, in in person, in, in listen in person, y'all will get embarrassed, bro. <laughs> In person, in person, in person, y'all would get embarrassed. Anton, you right. know, if we were by a woman, you'd be like, Well, we, I got a nice floor seats for you, and what do you do for a living? And I got all this money. Now, you he listen. don't talk about his money. He don't talk. Let, listen, listen, Anton, Anton don't talk about his money. Anton don't, Anton be wearing a hoodie. We don't need no. Hold on. And at times he's not even wearing his Rolexes. He's wearing his Apple Watch. He don't even be talking about his money with these chicks. These chicks. Anton got his own operator. Like, he he got to talk. Me and me like. He don't even got to talk. I got. I got to talk. I got. Well, she know. No, 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 no. Here's the difference. <laughs> Listen. You know what? You know what the difference is. See, she witnessed it multiple times in person. See, when I go, when I go to places, when I go to the bar. I don't say shit. Women come up to me. It's a difference. They see you as yeah, a no, 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 my wife no, 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 when, when I'm in a room, you niggas have no chance. It's not, it's not, it's not about that look. If, 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 time out, time out. Let me talk. If all these women were white, they wouldn't pick you. They'd pick me. That's you a lie me. because, Quinn, the woman he's talking about was a white woman that did that. She'd still pick me. Anton, Anton. Oh, the fuck. <laughs> how do you been, Anton? Me and all the white women love me. I do. It's ridiculous. All of them. It's ridiculous. We set Anton up for the win, bro. Because yeah, all of us are loud, they gonna pick quiet. They ain't gonna pick Q because why, he got on why, why, why don't you ask him why? <laughs> what? Huh? What's wrong with my shirt, ask, nigga? Ask the ladies, y'all. Ask the ladies why they pick Anton. Ladies, no, we, we, don't even, no, 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 we don't even have to do that. We can go to the next question. No, because he's gonna be lavish gifts, but they gonna fuck us on the back end. I promise you, they will take his shit and fuck us on the back end. I promise you. And I was hypothetical. Like this, this ain't real. No real talk. Guys like him, all due respect, 
Like Zuckerberg. Yeah, them super chats, and, and about, about the dollar. They know they want the asshole. He's the good guy. They want the villains. They want the bad. They want us. Oh, Avon ain't an asshole? Have you, Man, you uh, listen on YouTube. Avon is an asshole. You not doing? tonight. Anton ain't been an asshole tonight. Not tonight. No. Come on. He not tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. We got a love of her going on. I don't like how you taking up for Anton in real life. You <laughs> <laughs> need to calm that down a little bit, okay? Look <laughs> up. No, I mean, listen, we can move oh. to the next subject, but let's, let's just be clear. Look, look, look. I'm, per I, I'm fresher than y'all. I'm gorgeous. My teeth, my teeth this is This nigga beautiful. Anton be wearing mid thigh shorts. Shut up, nigga. I wear, I wear, hoochie, I wear hoochie daddy shorts. My teeth, are, my teeth are beautiful. I smell Anton. good. Anton. I smell good. Listen, you can't. Anton, let's, and just, let's just move to the next thing. Trust me. Let me know next time you in Dallas, Anton. He, he ain't that guy. He know, a hey, hey, town. He know that if he went to a bar outside of his event, he'd be like, "Okay, guys, I I'll sit over here in this corner because I ain't bad enough." We ended up at bars know. all the time. We was at a bar in Dallas. What no, are you doing? Yeah, that meetups. nigga stood on the bar. The Patreon <laughs> meetups are at bars with away people. Away from that. Away from that. No, 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 no. Steve, 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 bar. Steve. I I stand on the bar, bro. He right, was sitting okay. on the bar in Dallas. It was about like what sixty? Well, no, no, no. It was a good over hundred people that showed up for the Patreon event in Dallas. Right, but hey, Anton, Anton got it, man. I yeah, don't man. like how you export my you city. You got it, Anton. <laughs> Anton I'm in the I'm, game. I keep saying let's switch the subject. Y'all keep going back to the same thing. Bro, he ain't got nothing. I, got I got know that for a fact. You can fuck with me. He can, he can do all that bar hopping. He ain't got nothing. Nine years old, you these old ass can't crawl up on the bar. You that bitch if you want to. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, well, I, we can we can we go to the next subject? Yeah, we can. Yeah, let's, let me read the super chats. Congo says concur. Anton Green says he's right. He couldn't even get a white woman. I'm guessing he's talking about uh Mike Mark Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> yeah. Um, Carlton, thank you again, Carlton, for the super sticker. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Mark got in and via college, got in via college. He's not a nerd. He finessed the scholars for the, excuse me, blueprint, went to court for it. Um, I love it when you call me Big Papa. If Mark was black, that would call, they would call him a lame. And Serena and E would never date the guys they married in their prom. That's straight facts. Um, uh, gone. Ask the ladies who would be their last choice. I'm sorry. Me? We know. <laughs> Chris says Anton versus Steve. Who can pull the most in DC? Ah. Open grounds. Silhouette. Steve, you co you copying hard, big dog. That's tone the tone the dawn. Act like you know. No, like you slow. No, I'm right here. Oh, what's the I love when you call me big papa. Stop hating on big dog. They tap in with Anton. Um, DJ, don't underestimate the quiet, silent pimps. Okay. Talk they, to them. Talk to them. I don't know. I smell some. I smell some hater raid in the air with some. Oh my! Jasmine would pick me all day long over all you. Guys. That's why. Jasmine. Well, we'll ask if she come back and get her Wi-Fi together. But we go on to the next thing. It's video right here. When are women gonna stop stop glorifying being baby mothers? And this gonna destroy a lot of women, bro. Right. All right, so look at this. So Rihanna, go ahead. Rihanna reveals she is pregnant with her second child during her Super Bowl halftime performance. I'm telling you, man, it's something wrong with y'all women out there, bro. It's something wrong with you women, man. How you make a billion dollars and be somebody in baby mama? What's wrong with y'all? That's crazy. You niggas are crazy. How you be worth a billion but be a baby mama? A billionaire baby mama. But our women have no respect for marriage, family, none of that. She'll make a family with a nigga that won't marry her. Or maybe she the one that don't want to get married. Maybe in her contract to say that's going to destroy her image. Remember the same thing with <laughs> Here we go. Blaming women. Blame women again. Yeah. One thing I got to say about that is that being a wife is temporary, but being a baby mama is forever. Let's start there. Being a wife could be temporary, <laughs> but being a baby mama is forever. So while he might have a problem with Rihanna and, 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 and ASAP, God damn me, being a baby mama, that's a permanent decision, bro. 
Can't no piece of paper wipe that away. <clears throat> he did it twice. Not one. Twice. I don't have that kind of money, so I can't be concerned with how the rich are, you know, running their lives because I don't have that kind of money. So if she mm -hmm. wants to be a baby mama billionaire. <laughs> so let's take it away from Rihanna, though. Do you think that this culture um, basically glorifies baby mama, right? Every time we see online, they doing the um, baby shower. They're happy. Like, like, do you guys think they big it up in this culture? No, I think it, it's social not. media bigs everything up, any kind of lifestyle up. So I don't think it's about being a baby mama. It's just, they just want to be on social media. So that's just the circumstances that they're in. I don't think it has anything to do with being a baby mama. I don't think anybody wants to be a single parent. Like no one strives to be a single parent in life. I don't think. Well, they do, they do try. They, I think that's the yeah. new, I, it's kind of replacing um, marriage. Yeah. Yo, yo, sir, it's like the norm. Like, yo, sir. <laughs> Like Your service nerd, <laughs> ladies, ladies, you know, I, I hate to say this, but ladies, you know <laughs> that you over your legs to that dude that just want to fuck, you know, you and you know, he's not wearing a rubber, and you know that you don't have any protection, and you know that he, you giving him permission, you are the, you are the gatekeeper of your pussy. So you let these raggedy motherfuckers in you and let them nut up in you. So you can't get mad at them. They just say, we just fucking now want that kid. That's on you ladies. If I tell you I don't want that kid, this is all I need to hear. Take account of it. Try it again, Drea. I was saying that like, y'all hear me. You probably gotta go, go out and come back in. So uh uh, no, D Town, we tried that for two hours. Like, no, oh, oh my god, damn, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> not taking accountability, ladies. Y'all got y'all, y'all pussy. We ain't y'all, we ain't getting pregnant. Y'all ain't entering us. We entering you. So See, you, I, you got, this, this is this is nonsense. Y'all give the perfect answers all the time. Y'all don't allow for humans to be humans. People Wait, fuck up. up. No, shit no, shit no, happens, no, nigga. No, it don't happen. So, it, so it, let it, me it, say it, this then. For all of me, let me say all of all of me. Let's just say hypothetically, everybody had what a woman had. What would be the first thing you do? Protect yeah, yeah, nigga. What? Nigga, what? Yeah, oh, no, I did have what? What? Body. Because I know. Because, one thing for sure, because look, one thing for sure, I'm not trying to get fucked on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So y'all so y'all don't want to have no accountability. So basically, y'all want to say it's all on the woman who gets pregnant, right? So you impregnating her, there's no part you play, no role you play in that, right? It's all on us, right? Is that no, what? No, we're not saying that, but you do have a kind of disease. Let's say if I, if I go to Walmart with you and I put a TV in your basket. And when we get to the, uh, the the checkout, you got a choice to take that TV out your basket or pay for it. So if you choose to goddamn me pay for the TV, then that's on you. But the choice was sure. Yeah, so Nicole, what he's saying, sex is an agreement between two people. Once you know and you pee on that stick, you decide if you want to take that $40 buyout or go on a roller coaster ride. But what you women do is you decide to keep that damn baby. Knowing that motherfucker don't want you or that kid. You that the man can't take that as soon as you pee on that stick, his but, right gone. But you gone. men are giving women horrible decisions to make, like that. You uh, just get rid of the baby, don't have it. Like, that's a horrible decision to give a woman to make. Like, what are you talking about? How about you pull out? That's 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 an option, too. You know, birth control, condom. How you about you wear a condom? No. You can't pull out. Pull out. Pull out. That's always you pull out. Pull out. No, we're not you you the only person that knew he was gonna give up sex that night. Pre you knew before I got there, you was gonna get some puss up. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. When I was driving over there to your crib, I didn't know I was getting pussy. I only you had that answer. Yeah. So don't put that was, on there. I was yeah. saying, like, damn, I hope I get some. You know what I'm mean? saying? I wouldn't yeah, like I was for sure. You know what I mean? So. I'm not gonna spend my last two dollars on a box of condoms on a maybe. It's two dollars. Five thirty-six now, bro. Six thirty-six. Y'all spend money on weed, y'all spend money on liquor, but you can't buy condoms to where you can get the price. It makes y'all pussy smell like auto zone. Like, <laughs> I don't, why would I do that? If you let me right, dog, I'm going with the move. 
<laughs> you just say AutoZone? It do. If you ever been to AutoZone, them rubber smell just like this. 2K, you don't say anything I said. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But then they probably want to pay for the, the 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 travel arrangements and the abortion that he's you know. Oh, I pay for that too. You wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't you would rather pay for an abortion and travel arrangements than the the two dollars on the box. I will take you to the hitman office and let you go do what you got to do. Not the hitman. Yeah, yeah, you little murderer. <laughs> what, 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 what? You, you fucking murderer. <laughs> Protect your body, ladies. Wrap the fuck. You got uh, tons of. Pre contraceptives for women. Do you know that all he's trying to do is fuck you anyway? Nut and roll out, but yet you want to hold on to him. So what you do, ladies? Come on. They don't know that. Niggas Are you a pro and- See, ladies, this is why y'all y'all did it. Good. Ladies are too smart to be. Fun. Ladies can't tell they, just lie. they think they're gonna have a relationship. They think they're gonna get a house and a dog with a pick and fist. No, they don't be. They do. They know nobody. Let me ain't give you nobody it's I'm you ain't nobody lying. <laughs> Take your girl to Six Flags and get on the anti gravity machine. <laughs> and don't stop until you see blood, dog. Like, just, just go for it. Roller it's ride, way cheaper man. than a, a clinic ride. Oh, you yeah. Know, a milk yeah. Y'all got those, uh, those B, those plan Bs. Just have a bunch of plan Bs in your closet. And you're good to go. Okay, if you so want to do y'all teach y'all sons this? Do y'all teach right. y'all sons? You know what? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Say, whatever. At the end of the day, it's really the right. woman's responsibility. Is that is that how you're teaching y'all sons? Yeah, I, I was I was listen, okay. I, I have of course I, was they are. Dis- I was disappointed and proud of my son at the same time when I found prophylactics in his bag. No, listen, you gotta have no, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Answer my question. Are y'all teaching your sons that? Go ahead, screw whoever, because at the end of the day, it's a woman's choice to to not become a baby mama. No, 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 man. You gotta teach your son about spaghetti night, okay? Yeah. That's after you nut at her, oh, and you, you, you take a plan B, and you put it in a weed grinder, you grind it up. <laughs> you have spaghetti, and then you put it in a jail for that. I don't think it works that way, bro. No, yeah, <laughs> trust me. You you, you sprinkle the plan B over the spaghetti like mozzarella cheese and tell it eat up. <laughs> My nigga, like it, it's, it's all about how you do shit, bro. Right? Put it in the shake. They can do it in the shake. Put it in the milkshake. Just should not be laughing at this. Y'all can go to jail for that. You need that, <laughs> right? No, but nobody's killing back. We just saying that lady. Don't go to jail for not paying child support anyway. You don't want to know my plan C. That is. wasn't my question. Two K, do you have a son? Yes, I do. So, are you teaching your son? Go ahead, have sex. It's whatever. At the end of the day, it's that woman that got to take care of that child, or or make you wrap it up. I'm teaching my son about uh, risk and rewards. So, if he, if, you know, high risk, you gonna get to fill all this pussy. But goddamn me, you, you know what come after us, huh? And ain't no baby coming to my house, or so you gonna have to do something. I don't know how you gonna figure that out. I tell I tell my sons I'm not gonna be a bastard granddad. So no, no, you ain't nothing over no bitch. I'm not gonna be a bastard granddad. So you 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 wrap up. I want to teach you how to fuck and get pussy, but we gonna have you wrapping the fuck up. We ain't. We ain't well, you're making up. him wrap up because why? Because I'm not gonna be a bastard granddad. Because I can't trust. I can't, I can't trust women to be responsible enough to cover and protect their bodies. So I'm gonna come I'm back on us. Oh, I think <laughs> <laughs> Can we be on the stick and, and, and be pregnant? Or can you be on the stick and be pregnant? And so plan C is changing. I mean, the stick home. is gonna the stick has nothing to do with if they're pregnant or not. You do know that, right? No, I, <laughs> what I'm saying to you is is once you realize you are pregnant, you have the choice to eliminate it or keep it. But you want to keep it because you want something to love you. That's why y'all do it because you know. Oh, oh no, no. You sound smart. <laughs> that's why y'all keep the kids because you know that a kid, that's the only thing that's going to love you unconditionally. You ain't going to get that from that man. Then you can't get it. So you want something like uh, the baby daddy. And women, y'all need to stop dressing y'all kids like the nigga that left y'all too. I just want to know <laughs> that. What? I'm too good. <laughs> I'm sick of it, bro. Y'all need to grow up. We gone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love you, CT. You a dog, man. Nah, bro. I'm, I'm tired of it, bro. I'll let the make up. Look, nigga, what thing you real. Trying to hold on. That taking it out on the kid and shit because the daddy don't want you and shit. Your daddy ain't shit. 
But I, I, I it's Anton, I see you're quiet. What do you think about this? I, I, are we talking about the subject or are we talking about? <laughs> Wild. Okay. Wild. This is wild. I I don't understand how y'all not uh get putting rubbers on. I don't understand how y'all getting these chicks pregnant, bro. I'm not I'm not ever gonna leave my plate up until into another person's hands, let alone a woman's hands. Especially one that I don't even really rock with like that. Y'all be getting chicks pregnant that y'all not even Y'all not even serious about it. y'all just be in general getting a chick pregnant. I don't. I don't understand that part, guys. They don't even like them. I've never put my finger in somebody in another person's hands. Women choose to be pregnant, uh, Anton. It's a choice. Being pregnant. I don't give a, listen, I, let me. Let me. I'm just be real. I don't give a fuck what they choose. I'm then, never putting my fate in the hands of somebody else, especially I when I'm in control of it. So women can't put holes. Responsible for their actions. Yes. Yeah, so a woman gonna poke a hole on, on my rubber? Hey, well, yeah, just I already got it on. You already got it on. Right. Right. You can dig in your bag and, 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 and while you in the shower or pissing, poke holes. See, in what your... kind of women are you messing with? <laughs> right. right. Just the yeah. wrong yeah. Kind of yeah. woman. Women will do. Allergic to stop. Just don't do it. 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 Holes in condoms. Y'all just need to go green, man. Stop using all that plastic, dog. Like you want to put here for that. <laughs> no green. Wait, 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 wait. F- fuck the fuck the pregnancies. Y'all not worried about getting a getting an STI or an STD? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. That's why I say, bro. Can't get rid of. Them. I, like y'all- I, I had to get the shot, uh, penicillin shot, two times. You know. And the right butt cheek. I was first time going to teach you a lesson, though. I was gone. Listen, we don't know if two K be talking no, shit or if he's telling listen, the truth. Listen, the first time we don't know out. what it was true and what's not. With 2K. It's, it's not penicillin either. The shot ain't penicillin. Out, yes, it's but definitely penicillin. Two shots in the ass, sir. What is you talking about? Come back in two weeks. What is you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what is Make you talking about? Did I say what I said? He did. Pause. Pause. Right. Okay. So. The first time I called it, I was so young. This is what I thought. I said, I, I, I was having a discharge. I looked down, I said, <laughs> what what I'm, I'm, I'm still nutty. I'm, I'm dripping on you know why. <laughs> I'm okay. I thought I was still nutty. So, yeah, so like, but no, nah, you, you play that game, man. Right? This is this the cost of the game, bro. You got to be ready to roll with the punch. That's too big of a risk. Like, Man, it's pussy, dog. It made us. It can kill us. I'm taking my chance. Y'all be seeing that jump through, and I just don't understand y'all. I be so confused, bro. I just can't imagine, man. Yeah. I, ain't, I have never, ever in my entire life now, I, ever I, I, had I, I, sex outside of wet lot. On, on that ride without, home? Without a, without, a, without a rubber on. I've never in my entire life not had a rubber. Hey, dog, I you had sex with you oh, Come on, Anton, stop that shit. Ladies, I, I, listen, I have no, never man. in my entire life. I've I'm never in my entire life. If it like, 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 y'all need to stay out of the church. Y'all, y'all know y'all are an abomination by all this shit y'all are doing. Y'all should not be fucking, but y'all spread your legs and y'all are fucking. So because y'all fucking, this is what y'all get. Because y'all not protecting your body. This well, is how, was y'all, how was y'all not deathly afraid? Deathly afraid? Like, what the fuck is waiting on y'all? Nigga, we grew up in the hood. We was down there already dead in the first place. What, what are you talking about? Half of us was on. <laughs> Bro, yo, y'all grown men, dog. Y'all still be seeing it through. Uh, yo, what you think we learned about how you was from? I don't it's, think it's, it's like a game of probability when when you decide not to. He said, "Yeah, we still that seeing that. it through." And if, I, if I'm having <laughs> sex with a 53 year old woman, chances are, yeah, okay. no deal. chances no that the higher the chances is higher it's because higher. actually, if, if you it's look at the statistics, if you look at the statistics, uh, women that are older and and not even just women, people that are older all the way up through the nursing homes are the ones that's getting the majority of the, most of the diseases. Mm-hmm. Women's sex, drive, women's sex drive increases the older they get. So, yes. for younger. So, hey. 
Quinn said 53, y'all. Y'all didn't catch that 53. Oh, you're right. He, yeah. <laughs> we, know, we, we, we know he fuck with that Kruger coochie, man. That's cool. We still want to be the so what do we say to women to make better choices than men since they allow these ain't shit guys to fuck them raw? Shouldn't Listen, they make two, two things can be true at the same time. Yeah, you got to hold them accountable. But I, like I said, for me personally, I'm never putting my fate in the hands of somebody else that I do not fucking even know. But they would, these women, they don't give a fuck. They fuck. What about them? You can't make me not wear rubber. No, you can't make that. one gets to that, that. Oh, you know what? Rubbers, I, I'm so, there's something wrong with me. I'm allergic to latex and all this other shit they say. And I'm, oh, a, I'm allergic to uh, and I'm allergic to HIV. So we they both exactly. you, you, you just don't believe in your selection process. And that's that's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 if you got uh, 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 a he got a bad selection, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's you what don't you know. Know. Yeah, what do you call discharge? Like, you We all have hiccups. Me and Corn status is the same right now. Okay, he negative. I'm negative. I just played the game. Listen, when when women come around me, and it don't mean that I can't spot and pay attention to what the fuck is going on. They straighten up. They they straighten up. Oh my god. Jesus. They don't. They don't feel comfortable. Listen, when I, I I'm around a different type of people. I'm a, around a different group of people. People don't feel comfortable acting the same way that they do around other people as they do around me. That's a lie. Women, they, can they, do they, they no, they different. They talk different. Lie. They dress different. They move differently. Okay. They okay. they start. They they carry themselves differently. They try to do better because it's a different caliber of dude in the room. It's a different, different caliber of guy. Now, that don't mean that you're going to be able to even, you know what I'm saying, get that type of attention or regardless, but you got to carry yourself differently. And, and so okay. what I'm telling you is that what I'm telling you is that certain women don't get invited to the party. And, okay. and I call they don't have access. They don't get invited, bro. Anton, you can't tell. Like, it'd it be the bad bitches that be having this shit. I know, Anton. I yeah. fuck lawyers and doctors and women who, yeah, have, like, who, who, who are in an environment they got to act a certain way. But when they get around and they get behind closed doors, they talk about give me that goddamn dick, motherfucker. Pull my hair, smack my ass, call me whore, call me a bitch. So Anton, they just roll in. They say witch. Bitch, not bitch, not witch, bitch. Call me a bitch. Yeah, they be like, they like bitch? no, not switch, bitch. Oh, okay. okay. Say, All right. Take the trouble. <laughs> <laughs> woman. Is it's properly talking around you? Mean when she get behind closed doors, she gonna be like, oh Bartholomew, can you please take your penis and penetrate me? That boy went Game of Thrones. Come on, <laughs> that boy went Game of Thrones. Come on. Hey, I'm, okay, since all y'all women on the panel are so clean. I pull up y'all my charts right oh, now. Oh Lord, I'm not. Pull up my charts. Let, let's see what y'all history look like. They marry. I'm gonna send you. I'm, I'm married. I went always married. From we, CBS. We pull up the my charts since y'all oh, got. That's the CBS app thing. Pull up the my charts. Let's go. Walgreens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. oh, yeah, let me read the super chat yeah. so because this is going to the next segment of Adam Twenty Two since y'all oh, made God. like two K like yeah, messing with me and everybody. Nah, two okay? K ain't going out like L. Carlton, super sneaker. Thank you, Carlton. Eugene, is this a new trend? First week glorified three or fours. Now we're glorifying baby mamas. Carlton again. Thank you, Carlton. Carlton Britton again. Thank you. Christopher, pause. Um, Carlton, thank you for the two dollar super chat. Thank you, Carlton, once again. Thank you, Carlton. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> hey, y'all knock him, okay? Thank you, Carlton, again. Carlton, no, don't knock him. DJ says, Jazz, Andrea, Ashley, Nicole, hearing this and looking like, who are these niggas? That's how y'all look. That's how y'all really feel. That's how y'all feel. Let us know. Let us know, That's how y'all feel. What? What? 
There's an echo. Okay. So the next clip I'm going to show you guys, it's about Adam22. If you don't know, he's a a, a, a big YouTuber. Woo, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let y'all watch this little video. Basically, he let his wife smash a porn star um, um, 10 days after their wedding. Okay. So we're going to break this down. Should we keep it going with the fact that Adam 22 let his wife of seven years finally do a scene with an adult male star on camera? Why not? Let's keep it going. So I've been with my girl for seven years. We just got married. We're not in an open relationship, but from a porn perspective, we shoot with other girls, stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. But no other guys busting her coochie ass up. Well, you guessed it. Over the weekend, oh, no. something like that happened. She filmed her first ever scene with another. Hey guys, guess who I'm shooting with today? He about to fuck her. Yeah, brothers. <laughs> Wild. I, I think every man for the being a group with this. This ain't nothing to talk about here. He yeah. might look like being a cuck. He that just might be his thing. That is not his Wait, thing. Wait, but he didn't okay, so he didn't watch, right? But he didn't he wasn't there when they was doing the scenes, but he did say he watched a couple clips and he did let me see it right here. Listening will know who I'm talking about. I appreciate you banging my wife. I'm a professional, you know, I go in, I knock it out. That's what I do. Hey, I, I absolutely I cannot hold it against you, my friend. Did you see it yet? I saw a few of the clips. You put it down. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah. This not even funny, bro. I don't think I would put it down. <laughs> so a year ago, he said he would <laughs> never let her mess with. So I guess they mess with women, but a year ago, he said he would never add um, a man into the to the little little whatever they got going on. And he did, and he you know people are looking at him funny. Like, why would you let your wife, your wife? Like, is this what today's society is coming to? With no. Probably this open BS, like men wanting multiple women and stuff. Don't think so, Steve. But I'm like, what's next? Like, I I, I, I understand it. I, I get what I I, I get. I'm, I'm I'm you know me. I understand, Mr. Adam Twenty Two. Oh yeah, you we do understand. You know why? Uh -huh. Let me educate y'all. So something like this did Quinn kind of did at one point. He was talking to a girl. Hold on, what do you mean by he understands? A woman. He was having sex with a woman, and then <laughs> he was like, you know, I'm going to watch you F another man. So he was in the closet hiding as he watches this girl that he was messing with F a man. So he was in the closet like this recording. So, <laughs> come back. Yeah. Queenie even showed me the little picture. I was like, wait, you was up here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is like, I was, I was, I was long, 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 long topic. Yeah, well, that was like your penicillin right, days, right, right, right. 2K, 2K. Was um, just, you know. But um, why did you understand um, <laughs> from that? No, 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 no. I want to explain this. Please explain. Know. You got to explain right now, man. I'm not explaining I tell you why you understand it because you know what it turns them on to watch this girl get fucked just like a lot of that wasn't my girl it was a girl he was I, having I, sex with but not his girl that wasn't, I, I wouldn't let my girl do that it's, it's, it's do like you guys watching real porn it's like watching real porn in real life when you know the people so I understand wait a second I She's She's to her own. So you watch porn, but it's like in your, it's like real porn in real life, like you know the chick and you're watching the porn. What you mean? They've been doing this for centuries. You do understand that they've been fucking their husbands been letting their wives fuck and, and live women have been fucking on this. Wait, wait, wait. Do you guys actually think when y'all women talk about do y'all on these single apps about to go on a date, you ain't got no side dick that you fucking on the side? There is oh, nobody. Oh, is that what? No, wait, listen to me. No, no, listen to me. I see he's, no, no act jock, ladies. Come on, let's let's keep it honest now. First off, this shit has been going on for centuries. So this is nothing new. We I can tell that she was fucking guys while she was with him. Because he was a cuck. He's a weak motherfucker. They said they and, never and, had guys. No, no. Oh, okay. A woman can say that all day. We we okay. Do you think these ladies come on? I want to hear the ladies watch. They all gonna sing the song. No. Ladies, are you telling me? 
when you're going to Abe, you're going on a date, you don't have a side dick in the closet or or, or to break the glass where you want a dick other than the Willie Mammoth 3000? Do y'all so think all me? women are like that? Like, do y'all really oh, think all oh, women man. are like that? That's just... I, I, I don't. I think some women... This is what I'm talking fun. about. The dating of today. Like, y'all think all women are moving like that. These men want poly. This is what I'm talking about. So, if, if see, if that's what you're encountering, and this is what most women are. Look how the dating era has changed completely. Like, that's, that's not cool. That ain't it. That ain't the move. My fault. I don't think it's I don't think it's dating. I think people have fetishes and they're um curious and um what happens. Is that what you had? I would say I, I would say that I was curious what it would look like. Yes. Right. What? Like yeah. I was a kid. I was like 27, 28. Like, what you mean? Like, yeah, I was like, it should never that. happen, my guy. Listen. Dog. It wasn't my chick. I was like, nigga, I want to see if it looks the same. Nigga. So you want to look at his dick? Nigga, I didn't know. You want to look at his dick? Don't put the gay room on him. Don't do that. It's, uh, I don't mean to, it's just weird, dog. You want to see another, Why don't you fuck her friend? That'd have been better. You tell her you're in the closet and you fuck her friend. And then that, you, she sent you the video. Yeah, and send you the video. Then y'all can watch it like a you film. Put it in the closet like this. I, I didn't. I didn't want. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why were you? He was over the end and so cute. <laughs> he like. Y'all don't, don't kink shame him, man. Don't kink shame him. So, I, I was bored on a Friday night and I was like, let's, let's. let's. <laughs> you definitely was bored, my brother. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I don't want to know what nobody else sex smell like. I ain't going to eat hold you, kid. Like, you know, I was, in, I, was in the, I was in the laundry closet and I know. No, you were hella close. I saw the picture. Like, you were she hella said, close. you were hella close. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be sending Tisha in confidence and she'll be putting it in the public. But the closet can be here and the bed can be here, so it don't even oh, matter. No. The picture you right. sent was close. Like, I yeah, can yeah. see. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, like, get, get, like, like, get it. Fuck her, motherfucker. Fuck oh, her. Man. <laughs> Fuck her, fuck her. Thank you, Carlton. Uh, Broccoli said, Queen got that. Damn it. I'm exposed. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go to the last, the last oh, me. Get that super chat. Okay. I, I feel sorry for Adam. I know he ain't think this because the, the 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 black dude that he did do it with, he she bragging picked. about it. She picked. Yeah. He, he just didn't do his job and shut up. Like he, like he, yeah, I killed that shit. But but wait, two, no, he. I don't think I don't think he bragging because Adam this was. Is awesome. interview he dropped today. But Adam was asking him questions. Right. No, he, yeah. His yeah. Wife was like, oh my god, it was good. I had it. I was sore for four days. Like what? Your no, wife he did like that. He did yeah. another interview yeah, today. That took you. It was crazy, bro. It was like. Yeah. I was like. I you think know, y'all. I think y'all all missed the boat a hundred percent on this whole situation. Nah, fuck oh, yeah. I don't I don't this boat. Tell us about that. He got some money, didn't he? I think that yeah. Adam. Yeah. Adam is, I think that he finessing all of y'all. I think that That's some, he got money out of it. He, he, his whole his whole goal in his whole situation. I don't think he value her the same way that y'all think that he values her. I think he sees her as a commodity. I think he sees this as a marketing opportunity. I think this was always in the cards. And so, in order to get more people interested to figure out what the fuck is going on and to have this conversation, and we've been talking about Adam Twenty Two for about three weeks, almost four weeks now. And the best way for him to be able to market and make a ton of money out of this shit is for him to act like he was he was bothered by it and and you know oh my god I'm gonna let another dude bust my chick down and I think that Adam is fully committed and is fully embracing the role of what's what it's gonna take in order to market this thing and make as much money as possible. I think that he planned on marrying her right before he did it in order to be able to make it even more egregious and I think that. His goal was to make as much fucking money as possible, and he doing and he's doing it, and he's fully embracing the role, and he finessing everybody. Everybody think that he's he's broken. He's he's a cuck for it. I think that Adam know exactly what he's doing. I think he's smart as fuck. He been smart. He knows how to market shit effectively. 
and he and he hitting it out of the park when it comes to what it is that he's trying to market and get make a lot of money off of. Man, that's sacrifice. Yeah, two things can't be true. That nigga is a goofy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I mean, you you can call it what you want, but what I'm saying is, if you believe that this is something that he's struggling with, or you trying to figure out and all of that. I think you are severely naive, and he planned this. Exa- this is playing out exactly. I think it's playing out better than what he planned it. One hundred percent. You can well, I, don't think, I, ain't, I, ain't I don't think he give a fuck about that shit like that. I already. Well, he did. He did have sex. He he ran a train. He met her running a train on her with his best. I friend. think that Adam cares more yeah, about so she, his he money already and his resources anyway. than he ever gave a fuck about what what y'all think about it. The only thing he care about is marketing that shit to perfection, and he's doing it. He got. Oh, to, I didn't even know who the plug was until this shit popped off, and he did. He got. He got to though. He gotta go ahead and go all the way out, bro. Gee, a lot of us didn't know who he was. Like, this nigga a goofy. We looking at this guy as a goofy. You looking at him as a money? That's cool. We looking at y'all as a goofy because y'all the niggas that's paying for to see. No, I haven't seen it. I'm telling you, everything I watch is free. Every day free. <laughs> Free. Call it what you want. The point is, is that one way or another, he's making a ton of money from it. Yeah, I told you two things can't be true. You're right. Yeah. And, and like I said, I don't. I think that he planned it exactly how he wanted to play it, and he don't value it the way you value it. I think that he think that y'all value pussy the way that y'all do, which is why he makes money from y'all from people subscribing to figure out what the fuck going on. I mean, that makes sense. No, no, I just I just value my wife differently than I value. He va- he don't value the wife. He value the That's business. The so. Yeah. You right though. I don't value no pussy though, but I value my wife. Her, Lord Jefferson, Queen Kelly in the closet. <laughs> Carlton, thank you for the super sticker again. Carlton, thank you for the super sticker. Carlton, in. he's in the closet. Carlton, thank you, thank you, Carlton. You must be new here because I don't remember seeing your name. Okay. I just, hey, I shout out to Carlton. We don't have nothing negative to say about that. I want to. Um, I want to announce tonight my retirement from YouTube um, after this live stream. Um, no, you know. Shut up. Oops. Sorry. I'm um, going So let's watch this last video. I guess if you didn't read the title of the video, this is the main topic. This is about yo. Houston is down bad. Right, Man. you I like the simplest capital of the world or something. I saw this, this, this <laughs> number one simplest in the world. It said another post said the worst Y'all city to nasty. live in is in Houston, and then we what? got this chick. So it's, I don't know, this is why I don't go outside, but we're going to watch this little clip. Baxter says her 29-year-old daughter ultimately yelled back at the rental car agent. She says resulting in her being charged for screaming there in Dubai. And so she is in jail for one reason, one reason alone. She raised her voice. In that country, a female is not even allowed to raise her voice. If she raises her voice, it's punishable by jail time. Hello. Good. Good. I wish we could get that low pass in America. Right, lady. Well, I'm curious. I'm curious as to what the women think about this whole thing. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, me too. Yeah, I got to hear this shit. Y'all go first. Okay, so honestly, I think that when you guys try, not you guys, when people travel to other countries, you got to know their laws and their customs. Because stuff we do here will be very disrespectful in other countries, like hand gestures and all of that. Just like that, what's that uh, gay basketball chick? That should still be like like that. Like you going in and out that country and you brought that upon, you broke the law. You shouldn't be free. You broke the law, right? Now this chick, right? I don't know how, I wish there was a video of her doing whatever, but Yo, like she broke the law, but and based on they said she wrote she she started yelling when they asked her to pay for the damages to her rental car. So you know she didn't just raise her voice. Like you know when someone asks you to pay for damages on a rental car, she lost her fucking mind and she did more than just raise her voice. So yeah, you can't travel with everybody. I, tra- I know travel should be for everyone, but it is not. And the moment they start letting people put flights on Klarna and Afterpay. <laughs> That's a fact. Actually. I'm not. I'm so serious. 
It's, I want travel should be for everyone, but it is not for everyone. If you've never left the block, you absolutely should not be in another country because you don't know how to act. That's a fact. I agree, Ashley. You know what I think it is? Is we on this whole tip where because there was COVID, you know, we was all locked up. Now everybody's trying to travel. Everybody on their passport mess. You know what I mean? And so now we just traveling to different countries and we don't even know where we go and what we getting ourselves into. And there are situations like this that's happening because once again, to your point, Island, we don't know the laws. We don't know the culture. We could get ourselves in a whole situation where we may not be able to come back. You know, on some, like you said, some Brittany, what's her name? Griner type of stuff. Griner, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So my thing is, I honestly don't feel bad for her. I mean, I, whether it was a man or a woman or whoever, at the end of the day, you don't go somewhere, you don't know where, where you're going, and you don't know what's going on where you're going to be at. And so I, I hope that it's almost like a lesson to be learned for people that's traveling or going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? You just really need to kind of know you know, what's happening over there. And at the end of the day, certain things can get you killed. Forget just getting locked up or arrested. You know what I mean? You could get your whole hand chopped off. Anything could happen. You know what I mean? Right. In any type of country. So I just think that it's a lesson that needs to be learned. You can't just be traveling, you know, and and popping off. And that's where, once again, we over here, we think we could do what we do in the U.S. and other countries. And they want some like, uh-uh-uh, we're not flying that over here. On top of that, you already, you black. And you gonna think you gonna come over here and, and act a fool? Oh, we not having that over here. And we gotta make an example out of your black behind. You know what I'm saying? Basically, long story short. Yeah. True. I, I feel like they um that that they should put that in place here because it'll make the man feel more safe. <laughs> no, right. no, 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 no. You you laughing? But check it out. Nigga, the whole black community be locked the fuck up. Man. No, check this out. <laughs> Anytime a chick. Is essentially yelling at me. It's kind of like challenging my manhood. Yes. So, like, from you yelling at me, nothing good can ever come from this. So, them locking you up is really a protective measure for both of us. I don't. You. I don't have to fight you, and that way you can stay. You know, it won't be no violence occurring because the moment you start yelling at a man, you you challenging him. Oh, you think you can beat me up? You think you can whoop me? <laughs> but the minute I have to show you, then it becomes a problem. So if you yell at me, man, take her ass to jail. She out of place. She out of pocket. Because if I hit her, well, I'm going. Jail. Hey, yeah, it's still messed up, boo. Yeah. yeah. Intermittently. You, you cute over there. That, that, we can't hear you. Got that part. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if y'all can't hear me, I don't want to do a whole spiel. Go ahead, but go ahead. I, we hear you. Go ahead. I was going to say that um, it wasn't. It didn't have anything to do with the fact that she's a woman. I just want to be clear about that. It just had everything to do with and by the law is that you cannot spread for panic. It's like one of the laws there. So it was. It's been men and women in Dubai have been locked up for various things, like things that would be that would seem on here. But they're a big deal there. It's a very conservative country. So I just want to make sure that was clarified. I didn't have anything to do with her being a woman. Right. It just was a law. But it's just a coincidence. No, it's a law. It's really a law. It just happened to be yeah. a coincidence that the American that got locked up is a is a black woman a woman. with, with green this, hair. This yeah. time there's been several other people who were men. Um some were men, some were women, and they were of European descent. So it didn't have anything it was coincidence. I think that Dubai is coming, is becoming like the next floor. Mexico, like, Mexico. Mexico. Everybody can go there. It's like, that's the, where everybody want to go out the country is Dubai. Dubai. Like, I don't know if they want to get shitted on or they want to uh, find a rich man or whatever, but it's like, yeah, when you go. $85.85 and be halfway across oh. the damn world. Nicole is <laughs> Is right, like y'all can't be disrespecting these foreigners because they don't play that shit. They gonna chop you up and your mama not gonna ever find you. Like, don't go to the Caribbean and be like you gonna talk to a man side eyed and crazy, and then he knock you upside your head. You looking like, oh my god, he hit me. Like you can't be acting the same way, like when you go overseas, especially in that Dubai is where the women are totally different. 
you got to act accordingly or they will hit their woman. Like we, I mean, I know that, but like, I don't know. I just, I think it's it, even more simpler. I don't even think it's about traveling out the country, traveling to another state. You just need to position yourself and carry yourself like a woman and a grown ass man. I think it's, I think it's real simple. You carry yourself with some dignity, integrity, and some respect, regardless of where you're traveling. It shouldn't matter. You should be conducting yourself like a grown ass human being, regardless of the country that you travel. Well, it's, like, that it's, a woman th it's a woman thing. It's a woman thing because men don't yell at other men because we know there's a low level threat of yeah, violence that may occur. Yeah, that men, you know, in, in person, men don't be yelling like that at each other because they know somebody's going to get their ass whooped. If it it's happens. universal. If you yelling at another man, you ready for combat. You ready to fight. So niggas don't yeah, be doing that now. Yeah, person. They'll do it on YouTube, but they won't do that shit in somebody's face. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. They I mean, take it there. Like I'm not about to go to Oak Cliff and start yelling at a, a man or a, a chick or something. Or a woman, nigga. I want to beat you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not I ain't gotta die, You said don't go to Oak Cliff. Don't do too much now. Don't do too much. Don't do too much. That's not by anybody. It looks like he be a big thing. Not be tolerated regardless. I was just telling baby. I was just telling baby granny to give me some more shit. We should tolerate it over here. You should exactly. We shouldn't tolerate over here. But you know, it's just it's. I think it's just mannerisms, people upbringing. They not being raised properly, and kids are raising kids. School is raising not school is raising these kids and not teaching them right things at times. TV, the the freaking music that people listening to. It's I don't honestly I don't see it getting better. I see it getting worse, and that's that's just how it's gonna be. You niggas on YouTube these kids astray. Bad behavior get rewarded here in America, like especially by women. It, it get rewarded, it, it, even if y'all do anything bad. Like they say, we get into an argument, the police gonna come over here and take your side. I'm going to jail. I, I agree, Q. That, what I told you the other day, Q. That I, I told Anton this the other day. That text message I sent you from that girl, all of her friends applauded her for doing that. Shit. See, that's why. why? You know, Usually it only comes from an environment of women that all is in that same boat, right? Which is why you got to be careful of the company that you keep. Ladies have to be careful of the company that they keep. And guys got to be careful of the company that they, that they girls keep, right? Because you want, you want them to hang around people that's either better than them or going in the same direction as them. You don't want them hanging around people that confine themselves putting your chicken or putting you in a position that's not that's not conducive for your lifestyle a lot of people is just subjecting themselves to it the problem though also is that yeah i see us holding these chicks accountable but y'all keep talking to them too on the low i mean that's, is that the majority of the chicks you don't really have a choice like how don't you have a choice you got a choice you why are y'all being bullied? Why are y'all being bullied into talking to the worst of society? I'm just trying to understand. That. If y'all no, stop paying attention to can't do them type of broads, them them chicks will, will try to change. Like stop effing them because oh they got crazy sex. Stop giving them attention. And I think no, they will change. We don't get this nut out there. That's why they act like that. That's just point blank period. No, but I'm saying like everybody be like, okay, if you want an open relationship, why you just won't date somebody? Because that number is extremely small compared to the majority of the people. So the majority of the people act like this. My chances of not finding that is is slim. So that sometimes you gotta roll with the punch. Y'all operate out of duress, man, and that's why y'all get the results that y'all get. I mean, you that's why these women fuck with fuck boys because it ain't a lot of good ones. Ain't that what y'all say? No, I'm cool with them messing with fuck boys because that just that eliminates them out of my view. <laughs> Listen, Man. I don't, I don't. It's like what eight and a half billion people on this earth. I don't, I don't want to be friends with everybody, bro. Oh I'm not God. trying to hang out with everybody. I'm not trying to be as accessible to everybody. I, I am for a specific group of people and a specific demographic of people. And if you don't meet that expectation and that criteria, you can't get in the room. You can't call everybody. Listen, you gonna have to adapt to me, not the other way around. Sure. It's that simple to me, bro. That's that's why I create a barrier to entry for everything that I do. I don't just show up to free fucking events, and the reason that I do that is because I know that that shit bring out the riffraff. Mm -hmm. 
I don't hold events at trash aspect as spaces because I know that that makes it accessible to every. I don't want to be with everybody. I'm not trying to be friends with everybody. I'm not trying to hang out with everybody. Listen, they can observe me from a distance, but if the chicks that's around y'all is not making adjustments based off of you, then that means you're attracting the wrong crowd, or you or you not you not presenting yourself in a way that forces people to adjust around you. If people not trying to be better around you, then that means that you starting to acquiesce to them, not the way around. I'm like, but you talk to these chicks don't even listen to they to their mamas, bro. Half of these chicks got to leave the house. Okay, and then that means that they eliminate themselves from me. Exactly. Why would you want to entertain listen, that? I'm not trying to I don't want to fix these hoes. It's hoes, <laughs> it's regular women, it's wives, it's chicks from the streets, it's respectable human beings. Just the same way it wears niggas, it's dudes that's 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 trash, thug ass dudes that I don't want to that, that's a possibility for him holding a pistol up on his car and he got fentanyl in his truck. I don't want to fucking hang out with that nigga, dog. I want to hang out with dudes that's, that carry it, that's worth their weight in gold, that's going in a certain direction, and that's a part of my tribe. That's my network. I don't have to make myself self accessible to everybody. I just want to make myself accessible to my tribe. Yeah. Fuck them. When the last time we had to deal with these hoes? Fuck them hoes. Let, them, let that hoe be. Let that hoe be where she got where she are. Where she is. And we're going to point it out and we're going to hold them accountable because it, it doesn't absolve them from being responsible for where they are. But that don't mean that I got to deal with her. Back to the apartment. So y'all are qualifying women that really should be disqualified because you don't know your own value is what it sounded like to me. Bars. I said that from the beginning. That like y'all, y'all women fuck with motherfuckers don't value themselves. That's why y'all walk over these motherfuckers. I don't understand what's going on out here, bro. I'll be so confused. It's a lot. It's a lot. Let me get through these super chats. I love it when you come, Big Papa. How you feel about Lacario? His what's that noise? Who got the popo in the back? How you feel about Lacario? Okay. I don't do it like that, man. I'm If so, I don't know why you are so shocked on Adam Twenty Two and Quint. Wait, wait, damn, uh, Lacario on tonight. Hold on. Yeah, I'm not shocked about Adam Twenty Two quitting. I, 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 you know, when you got game, guys will watch you fuck their wives. What you, I, I'm sure, I'm, I, I, excluding the, the the guy in the corner over there who buys floor tickets. I'm sure the ones that have game have fucked somebody's wife while they sat in the corner watch. So what you talking about? Wait, wait, the- wait, that's not what you was talking about. Adam Twenty Twenty, whatever. No, so- I'm saying his wife. Oh, what you say? What you say, LG? I'm saying that uh, I'm saying that there are guys out there that oh you know them the older dudes that like to watch watching us fuck their wives and shit or they they just sit in the corner and they just sit in the corner and they just watch us fuck they don't join or anything they just get off on that shit. What I'm saying yeah. is Adam Twenty Two his woman was fucking already. I was saying. And I, what I was saying about Quentin was, I'm saying Quentin should have, if Quentin had some game, he'd have told the fucking woman to go bring some pussy to me. You get your ass in the closet, and I'll do the fucking, and we can film that shit. That's not what I wanted. I know, Quentin. We know that, buddy. But that's what I'm saying, though, Steve. I'm Even in that show, not- right? Like, yo, my standard is that I would never, ever fuck with another dude's wife. Yeah, I'm just not the type of nigga to ever put myself in a position. Listen, if I find out, if I find out that you married, yeah, I can't do it. Since I was a little kid, that's that's always been one of the rules: is that we don't fuck with we don't fuck with dudes' wives. That's just the way it is. No, in a situation, there are guys out there. They're, they're okay. I don't give a up. fuck about what they're asking for. I'm not available. But every other guy won't be nah, you. I can't even do that. Can't do that. Do that. <laughs> it's just up to the person. Yeah. Some people offer your wives. They're like, you know what? Hey, let's go and have a party. You know what? I want to watch you fuck my wife. And it's up to that guy to make a decision. <laughs> oh, well, listen, man. I think that people would do anything, bro. Not 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 like, what, 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 you know. what, how, okay, why can't, why do I have to? Make a decision based off of what's available to me from other people. Why can't I make a set a standard and just rock with that shit? And I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with the help. All right, let me explain this because I know you ain't got no game. So let me show how this shit work, Anton. Right, yeah, right. you, you have game, right? The loser guy 
is going to sit around and listen to all these stories all the women you fucking. He's going to go back to his woman and Paul revere that shit to her. I can't believe I can't believe D-Town fucked that girl again and all that. And she's going to tell all the girlfriends. You know what his wife going to say? Why don't you bring D-Town to this party so I can give him a piece of my mind? And then what she's going to do is call all the girlfriends and let her know D-Town's going to come to picture, picture game night, whatever the fuck they doing shit. And one of them bitches is gonna get with him because when you have game, you sell the bitches to us. We we it's a virus. Right, right. So here's, here's the key. Here's the key. Here's the key. This is what I'm saying. I would never ever put myself in a position to where a nigga would ever even be in my presence that think like that. The minute that we the, listen, we have marriage parties, bro. Like it's a, it's a it's a standard, bro. You got to meet an expectation. In order to get in the same room as us, bro. And so my point is that I don't hang around niggas that would even consider doing some shit like that. Because, like because, that. because if we if we find out that you that type of dude, then that means you're not a good representation of what it is that we are. So that guy's so like we move, we, we listen, we move as a unit. We are we hold ourselves to a higher standard. We understand that our reputation is also our net worth. Our network is our net worth. And I would never hang with a nigga that would ever do some shit like that is my point. And if we find out that you do, then we just, it, ain't, it don't mean that you're a bad person. It don't mean that you're not a nice guy. We, you, you cool. You just can't hang out with us. That's you all I'm saying. You hang out with Quentin? What do you mean? You I met Quentin, Quentin. I met Quentin, Quentin at, a, at a meetup. Quentin did what you disagree on. I met so, Quentin. I met what Quentin what at what a meetup. Quentin is not even in my city, bro. No, I'm saying this. I'm saying that all the guys you saying all these standards to don't mean that they ain't doing I have never people. hung out with Quentin outside of meeting him at a bar. Not as Quentin. I'm saying there if you think your circle is gonna be holier than thou, every man has his yes. own finish. Every man yes. has his own finish. And then I'm gonna see you there yes. first. So and then here's the thing. Here's the thing. If we find out that you're doing I'm, some shit that's egregious, what brothers usually do is that they hold their homies accountable because I don't wanna see you crash out. I don't want to see you fuck up the bag. I know where you're going. I don't want to see you fuck up your family. And so what we do is we hold each other accountable and we say, yo, fam, what's up, bro? What the, what the fuck? You know we don't do this type of shit. And brothers push each other. Even if it may, means our friendship, we willing to put that shit on the line because real friends look out for each other. They don't let each other crash out. And so, yeah, we do push each other. We do hold each other accountable. When my brothers see me off, off my rocker or they see me veering the wrong way, they pull me in and they say, yo, fam, that ain't even you. Who the fuck you think you are, bro? You got a higher calling and it's a, it's a lot of people that's dependent. So you gonna fuck up the bag over this dumb shit? That's what brothers do. They hold each other accountable because they don't let each other fuck up the bag and they want to push us to be better. We don't, we don't support that dumb shit. If I see my homie and he over here doing some dumb shit and he think it's cool because it's getting some pussy, we hold that nigga accountable and we say, what, you value a pussy more than the bag, dog? You value a pussy more than you value your kids? Man. Don't you want to be the man that you would want your daughter to grow up to marry? Don't you want to be the man that you would want your son to stand up to? Fuck that pussy shit. Anybody can get pussy. That don't make you great. Nigga, if, if, if she available to everybody, we don't even fucking want her in our circle. That hoe ain't nothing to us. She ain't nothing to the hoes. We don't hang out with the hoes, bro. We hang out with the wives. It's a difference. But do you think, okay, okay, you say you had to, but you don't know what those wives do. You don't know who they fucking with. Oh, why do you think so negative? Why do you got that negative? Like all women are bad. Wives are oh, my wife do. I'm saying when you have game, it, it, because these wives have boring lives, boring husbands, boring situations. They love men who are exciting, and they will fuck on them. You have this thing called Ashley Madison. Do your homework on that. Hey, let me, okay, let me ask you this question. Let me rephrase it. Yes. At what point? At what point? Because I'm 41 years old. I don't know how old anybody else is on the planet. 51. Okay. At what point do we outgrow this dumb shit? What's dumb? We, what's dumb about fucking... What, what's dumb about someone offering this bitch to you? What's so dumb about that? What? Okay, so so for me, oh, no. I'll just use myself as an example. Time I can out. understand it if you're a young dude. I can understand if you're a young jit. I can understand if you're 19, 20, 21, 22. I agree. But That's huge. for me personally, I think that you're supposed to continuously grow and evolve and I, I can't agree. keep doing the same thing that I was doing when I was 20. I agree, but we're in the, okay, in your neighborhood, everyone's neighborhood right now, there are swinger parties, uh, orgies, and everything going on in between. I'm sorry? 
Are you a swinger? Yeah, we, we used to be swingers. Yeah, we, oh, we, we, so it makes sense no, why you're saying it. Yeah, have, you, have, you, have somebody ever <laughs> did, did your wife? No, 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 no none did of that. No, 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 I'm saying as a single guy, when I was out there, I would go to swinger uh, parties, and, parties and, and all that stuff. Right, yeah, and, and fuck uh, <laughs> women. Uh, women. <laughs> women who had married women, women whose girlfriends were sad, their, their friends would say, you know what? My, my my friend needs a good fucking come over and my friend for me. Now a woman, of course. So it's been a lot of things we have game. But Anton, you wouldn't know that because you ain't game up, Anton. You don't know about that kind of shit. No, no, no. If that's if that's what that game up is, no nah. I am I am one thousand percent in the lame category. Yes, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Keep me in my lame ass in my lame ass life. I'm going to stay, stay lame as fuck because, again, for me, my standard of living is based off of the fact that I, I'm the man that I would want my daughter to marry, and I'm the man that I would want my young guys that I mentor to grow up to be like. Okay. I, anything that I would not advocate for my daughter to do is not how I'm going to live my life. Daughters right. have different rules. You treat your daughters different than your boys. You uh, your I am, the daughters grow up to seek the man that their father is. Yeah. Right. I, agree. I am the man that I would want my daughter to marry. Definitely. Same here. Okay. That's how I live. That's just how I live my life. And I don't judge nobody else. I'm just saying that's how I live my life. You do judge. And I you want say my that. daughters to be. No, I don't. I don't. I don't tell other people what to do unless they seek my did. advice. But no. I do give my opinion based off of my own life experience. Your circle has to follow your rules, or they get kicked out of the boys' club. That's what you said. They got no, no, no. That's that's called having a standard. That ain't judging. Oh, man, come on, dude. You're, you're setting that's a standard, having a standard. of which you expect your expectations. So they can't think for themselves. So they, they're scared to lose they can't think for themselves because I'm also open to hear their opinion and I'm also <laughs> open to being wrong. So when they correct me, I'm cool with that too. You're, you're it's, reciprocated. It's, 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 it's reciprocated. It's not just one way. But you said my way are kicked out. So if I catch you, if, if I find no, out. No, I, I said we have a, we as a group, as a collective, we hold each other accountable. It's not just one way. It's a, it's a lot of ways. That's why men need to be by themselves. It shouldn't be in groups. Oh Lord. Uh, I think I think that when you're around the right group of people, they level you up and they force you to actually step outside of the thing that you used to instead of the thing that you you comfortable with. I think that being in the right group can actually help improve your life. We, we got it. We we and and I love being around people that's better than me in certain ways because I can learn from them and I can grow from it. And again, for me, you know, I just want to. If I'm the same nigga that I was, I'm 41. If at 42, I'm the exact same nigga that I was at 41, then that means that I'm not growing. I want to be better every single year. I don't want to be the same person that I was last year or even five years ago. My best years is ahead of me, not behind me. I agree. I agree. I agree on that. So I don't know. Well, you sitting there, Nicole. What's going on, Nicole? What's happening with you? What's going on? <laughs> I'm just sitting here listening to you guys because, I mean, I just think that you should be growing at least every three to five years, in my opinion. And if you're the same person who you were at 20 versus 40, that's that's very problematic. And it's not even just a female male thing. It's just period as a human being thing. You know what I mean? I feel like we should always be trying to grow and elevate. And the problem is I feel like with the whole even dating pool with even men and women is that no, everyone's growing in age, but not everyone's growing in mindset. And so for me, I feel like that's where, um, why we keep feeling like these conversations are going circular and why people keep having the same type of experiences no matter how old that they get. And it becomes like this endless cycle. And at the end of the day, I just think that if you want better, you have to do better. You have to do some things that maybe you're uncomfortable with just because, just for the growth. And I think a lot of people, they really, they act like what they want is different, but they really don't because they really don't want to grow because it forces them to look at who they are and all the things that they've gone through and what they've done. So at the end of the day, I just feel like, a lot of stuff be capped when people be like, oh, well, it's this and this. It sounds like a lot of excuses to me versus trying to come up with solutions on how to have different experience with what's going on, what they got going on. So. What, what, but, Nicole, uh, real quick, it's for, I'm, I'm talking about men. This, this is a man conversation. Y'all women are growing. Y'all emotional. Wait, wait. 
how are y'all growing when y'all don't believe in yourselves? Y'all really are next to hate yourselves because I believe in self-hate when you're wearing somebody else's hair and shit like that, but that's here nor there. But y'all have <laughs> esteem. Y'all, uh, y'all don't believe in yourself. Self-hate, yo. Wow. Why? Why sis can't be just trying to protect her edges? Like, exactly. You know? Lady, stop. Come on, let's be honest. If you look at your TV tomorrow, all you're going to see is ways to blemish your skin, get rid of wrinkles and all this. Okay. Because y'all are really surface level and very, 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 very have, have very low self-esteem. Or we're yeah. trying to look good for ourselves and our man because we are a reflection of our man. So why wouldn't we want to look good and upkeep ourselves? Not we have low self-esteem, Island. Yeah. yeah you, uh, wait, you say but y'all don't mind, but you see, you've never f the girl with weed before. I, I'm team real hair. I like real hair. That wasn't my so, question. That yeah, wasn't I, my question. No, no, I know. No, I like I like black women. Never? Never. No, I, I I don't like fake titties. I don't like fake ass. I don't like fake hair. I don't do that. All the, all, them, all them years of you living, none of them girls get tracks. I, I, I'm being, I'm telling you honestly, I do not like fake. I don't want to grab someone's hair and see uh bald spots or her have short hair. I mean, I'm going to get you stuck. I should have scared y'all from doing that. But I'm just saying, ladies, y'all wear that because you're trying to compete with other women because you don't believe in yourself. Oh, and God. because you have, and if you believe in yourself, you wouldn't be wearing all that fake ass shit. You what you okay? Listen, wait, y'all say y'all wear that fake shit, but you say you want a real man. How crazy is that? Y'all have all this fake shit on, but then you demand men to be real. Isn't that amazing? That's really amazing. That's amazing, Steve. That's Carl, thank you for the super chat. You you a one tonight. Next level says shout out to Cupid for the great show. Yo, Anton, these men need a coaching session. Mag chaser, shout out to you. Carlton, <laughs> Carlton again, super sticker. Um, Eugene, <laughs> hyenas tend not to know how to act when in other countries. People should be educated about customs before traveling. Facts. Carlton again, super sticker. Thank you. Andre says, in Dubai, anyone found cursing, giving the finger, belittling, or yelling as if to fight is illegal for everyone. Don't take your U.S. mindset overseas. Stay your ass home. <laughs> now, honestly, they might need to go overseas, right? And maybe they need to get a lesson and learn and then bring their ass back and work better. Because honestly, I really think that some of those stuff that they have, those laws in jail and just in society, I wish they can have it here so people can actually move better. But, oh, Carlton, thank you again for the super speaker. Um, Andre says, even here in Colombia, slamming car doors, talking crazy to men, or talking loud in public is never accepted. They see you as the rude American. Uh, oh, I love it when you come here. Papa, he, uh, see, this is for you. You never answered my question, Steve. You stuttering. Oh, okay. Ask about Lucario. What do you think about Lucario giving his wife? Okay, I'll answer the question. What I'm asking is, what's so, why do you care about other men? What the fuck was that? What kind of fruit you, movie you're shit? You're reflecting. Can you answer the question first? Question. I just want to say that um, after I answer your question, you need to really get some therapy because there's something weird that you worry about another dude, and I can tell you ain't getting no pussy asking this bitch-ass question. What a man does is none of my motherfucking business. I don't judge these motherfucking men. I don't give a fuck about people. Well, I take team man on that. I don't give a fuck about people like that. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Let me let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Ladies, every last one of y'all. Um, I appreciate y'all for coming up on the panel and braving through having these conversations <laughs> because I know it's not easy. And I mean, you know, we guys, we're gonna throw our shots and we're gonna go back and forth when we expect y'all to do so, also. But I will say that y'all, y'all have been dope. Um, I appreciate y'all coming through for Monday night. Q, you, you already know who you are, me. Jazz, all of y'all, I think that y'all, uh, um, I appreciate y'all for just showing up on the panel and having a conversation. Yeah. Nah, this is super dope. Let me just finish this and I'm almost done, y'all. Reek says, the mindset dude, oh God. I love it when you can pop us. Steve, a swinger now, it makes sense. Steve, 22. <laughs> Zach says, super <laughs> says, 100%. Man, says, speaking facts about modern women, being fake, classy, and to honest with your points, trying to keep people accountable teaching about real brotherhood um frank b says growing old doesn't necessarily mean growing up um zach thank you for the super chat and care carlton thank you again 
But oh, dang, you, you, so you said thank you and didn't read it. <laughs> oh, I didn't. No, I'm so, I was trying to go too fast. Oh, no, Zach, let me, let me, go ahead, go ahead, kid. A for effort to all the women just for showing up. Hey, Amen. Thank you, women, for showing up and dealing with these men. That's why y'all. Let, let me also give a shout out to my fellas for being being unapologetically y'all. No matter what happened, y'all are absolute. That's what makes for the great show is that y'all absolutely say what y'all feel, regardless. Mm -hmm. So, shout out to Quentin for uh, <laughs> keep it real. Shout out to my dog, shout out to Steve standing on the square, 2K D Town. I appreciate mm -hmm. everybody. Respect, it's all respect. Ain't no it's love. Come on, it's respect, brother. That's a, yeah, it's all respect in the day. It's so respect. Get yes. the like up to the Dean on this panel, TMM. And then I love it when you come back. Papa, I see 22 changes. Subject, you ain't fooling me, though. I, he did. He did. He said, I don't care what these other men are doing, but he ain't answering a question. <laughs> <laughs> I thought women were the only ones that deflected, but, you I'm know. Talking to, I'm talking to a Smurf. You, you actually think I'm going to talk to a Smurf? In his, in okay, his okay, talk to me then. What do you think about Lakara letting men mess with his wife like that? What he has in his life is his business. That has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with me. I don't judge. I don't trust. I don't care. I like I your care. little answer. I like your I I, what am I supposed to do? Get mad and kick him out and say, no, this is my standard. And if you don't do it my way, you're out. What am I supposed no, to do? No, no, no. I mean, you had uh, some words to say regarding Adam 22. So I thought we, you would have that same sentiment regarding Lacaria, but you don't. It's my favorite to him. He's got a lot of women. He's fucking. He's doing this thing. And whatever he does with his wife is none of my business. I'm not in his, I'm not in his, I'm in no man's marriage. I'm not in their business. I don't care what they do. Send Amen. Them out there. Shout out to everyone to join the panel today. Thank you. And people in the super, in the chat, thank you for being here. Um, <laughs> people in the super chats, you know, <laughs> I'm going to be carrying my laptop when I travel because Jasmine got on my ass today. Yeah, good. Yes. That's what I like. Good. Yeah, yes. she always trying to go somewhere. In the, in the summer <laughs> is vacation time for me. Uh, Carl Swan says, "Salute to Steve, the man. Mindset, one thought, and one way. You know, yeah, it's vacation yeah. time. You know, you know, you gotta take a little trip. Anton don't take vacation. I let take vacation. I don't care what he doing, but I take vacation." Yeah, you know? Jazz. Stay on no head, Jazz. Ah, Jazz about, <laughs> Jazz about to take a trip too. You know what I'm saying? Jazz was saying, nah, <laughs> I don't show up Monday. Y'all was saying, nah, like, oh, no, nah, I'll bring my see, laptop. But see, I'm in a different city at least twice a week, and I never miss. Ever. Well, Anton, you like to work. I want to sit on the beach and get a tan. You just want to be. Hey y'all, it's Anton Daniels. Like, I don't want to do that all the time. I just like, <laughs> <laughs> to get blacker. That's right. I got. I. I gotta. I gotta stay tapped in with my people. They need me. Yep. They need. Well, what would it be? Listen. What would it be? What would the mornings be like on a weekday? If I didn't live stream in the morning, all of my truckers, all of my people that's working from home, all of the people that's trying to get through their day. True. A lot of people depend on that shit, and they need that shit. So I got to keep my people. Yeah, so people <laughs> yeah, I got to make make sure my people are taken care of, man. Mm -hmm. But thank you all for showing again. I know it's real cray cray, but ladies, you were as a two K said, um, y'all were angels. Your lips touched the bottom of your lips. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> people go follow these people uh on instagram go follow man mindset because his channel is dope it's crazy i think he's doing a show tomorrow mm -hmm. who y'all talking about this show tomorrow y'all doing no no we gonna have a fuck show we have a i got a show with a cario in the morning and then we have our, our sex show to teach guys how to be better in bed with women and shit what the fuck what? <laughs> hey, hey quentin we would tell you to go in the closet, watch porn, and that will help your addiction. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hey, Steve, Steve, do you know that? I don't know what your sentiment is. I do not watch porn, and I do not masturbate, bro. You know, yeah, man, you, you know, you, you, masturbate that. should be a, a, a fun time thing if you choose to have it. But if you get pussy, you don't need to masturbate. With why? Why masturbate? I mean, even if I wasn't, life. even if I wasn't getting out, if I wasn't getting it, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. I, and I respect, hey, but hey, that, I respect that. 
I, I can respect your thing, brother. I respect that. Yeah, I'm telling you, listen, I'm the closest thing to perfection that y'all gonna get on the face of this earth. Well, I'm, I'm trying to call perfection. So, <laughs> I'm gonna answer his phone. When is he gonna 